<laughs> hey everybody hey. welcome back to the channel it's me maiden with a me, whole bunch of people we got tim <laughs> over here we got zach down below and we got brian over brian. on the other side brian basketballs oh, yeah. yes let's freaking go see i can't swear be... anymore <laughs> yes that's the other that's thing great. i gotta tell the crowd i can't swear because it's the first monetized live of the channel so i can't say bad words anymore Oh, yeah. I am sorry. Oh, yeah. I know you've come to expect it from me <laughs> in a clever delivery fashion, but we'll find other words to use. That's, right. That's why I brought the Easter Bunny with me tonight, so that he'll be watching you, Maine. So <laughs> That's <laughs> creepy as hell. I love it. <laughs> Let's go. I know. I love it. I love I'll be it. Able to block you if you started to swear, but you know we're on the delay. Of, you know it'd be. Oh, there you go. You get the <laughs> after. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> that is true. Be <laughs> on the ready. All right. <laughs> oh, see, like where are we? It's it's already it's already going down. <laughs> it's, it's already going down. So, uh, first of all, happy Easter, everybody. Happy Thanks Easter. for coming. I hope people are just enjoying. Uh, there's family enjoying this wonderful day. We all know why we're here. So let's take a minute and enjoy that. And we have yeah. three of the best in the car community, the best co-host in the business, Tim. We got Zach down below, Brian Basketballs. We're going to kill it tonight. Uh, uh, we got the day off tomorrow, so we're not in any super big rush to talk. Uh, we're just going to have fun. So let's go up to the top of the chat, say hello. Shout out to all the Braves bros. There you go. And yes, oh, hold on, hold on. Zach, I'm, I'm trolling you. There we go. Yeah, see, there we go. Absolutely. And we got uh, Dan coming in hot for the first chat of the day. Thanks, Dan. Uh, just on the Kiss fan dropped his super chat. That was my son. So thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. He said he's got to prime the fire. So thank you for that. Uh, Brian coming in saying hello. Thanks, Brian, again for coming tonight. Uh, Kelly and Jordan squad, the commish, one of the best. We got Spy Ticks coming in. From an Easter dinner, saying hi. Thank you, Seth. I appreciate you, buddy. Great stream last Thanks night. Up, I stayed all the way to the end. What a great stream last night, Spontix. I really enjoyed it. I had uh, some some crazy stuff happen. I'll explain offline, but it, like it's like Dateline worthy. I'm not even kidding. I, t Tim knows it's nuts. The guy that called wasn't trying to sell me something. It was really not a good situation. Um, so I had to watch a little bit of it today. Robert Springs, hope you're feeling good, my man. He's back What's on up, the Robert? go. Back kicking up dust, causing shit. I love it. Oh, see. Oh, you did. Well, yeah, three <laughs> minutes though. Three minutes. He's watching you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we're gonna get two every time we cuss. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I wish uh, we could two through the edits, you know, and every time. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would be awesome. Hey, White Sox, Tom. Thanks for coming in, buddy. You're the best. I appreciate you. <laughs> Dan, that's a domino. Hey, Bert. Hey, hey uh, Bert Jimmy. dropping with a big one there. Oh, oh, I didn't see. I was still scrolling up here. Let me see. Oh, thank you, Bert. I appreciate you. Yes, thank you. Um, Much yeah. love, bro. See? Heck yeah. <laughs> and I love you too, man. You're one of the best. You're a super good friend, and I wouldn't be anywhere without, without your help. He's you got to watch Bert's video he just dropped. Have you seen Bert's latest video? I have it. I have oh, it on yeah. pause because I I went and, had a, went and had something to eat before he had the live. So it, it's uh, epic. I'll uh, say lots that. Of sticks anyway. called. Yeah. He's stirring the pot. Stirring. Yeah, he's stirring the pot, baby. Let's go. Okay, I can't wait. You got Jim Maynard in the card kitchen. Rascal and Lucy Renee, another great, another great content creator. Dirk Remington, my pancake bro. Road trip, buddy. Antique collector extraordinaire. Sports card what hunter. Say? Absolutely. Great freaking dude. Um, like, thanks, Bert. Like, Bert, Dirk, Perch. Oh, my God. Everybody, man. There's so many people. This is great. It's going by quick. So it's taking me a minute to kind of catch up here. Rev Rats Rides. Thanks, Rev. Sorry, okay. I missed your live. I was out um, at Moz for, Christmas, uh, for Easter dinner. So. Shout out to all the mothers and the grandparents out there that are uh, having wonderful dinners on Easter with their families. Shan Tyerman, thank you for coming. I really appreciate you, Shan. Hope you're doing well. 
Go Mavs. You know what? I'm telling you something. Today I watched the Blue Jays destroy Tampa, and it was glorious. Oh, it was awesome. Because, again, we've got Justin Turner, right? And we didn't know he's an older fella. We didn't know, like, hey, can he still hit the ball? He crushed it like 400 feet, man. Like, I'll take that. You know, Vladdy did well. People are hitting the ball. We're doing all right. So I was happy with that. And speaking of the Vancouver Grizzlies, speaking of the Grizzlies, let's uh, let's not talk about that just yet. Uh, Vancouver played Anaheim tonight. Sorry, Seth, but that was a great game, man. Uh, Elias Pedersen, who is like becoming one of my new favorite hockey players, man. I love that kid. He's awesome. And and now it's Hoglander and those guys, the, you know Quinn Hughes. They're really good hockey players. They are. What a game. I, I watched a whole NHL game tonight. I watched that game and it was so good. Uh, they had a 2 0 lead and 2 2 lead, and then Vancouver came back and won it there. It was great. Right. Oh, it, it was. They owned the blue line in the third. It was it was great. Uh, at North Coast Railroad coming in. Hey, George. Thanks, George. buddy. I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate everybody coming in and spending some time with us. We've got a great show tonight. Um, I am so stoked to have this guy on. He's got one of the best channels on YouTube, super positive guy, Brian Basketballs. We're going to talk about basketball. We're going to see oh, some cards. You're talking about Zach. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about all. I'm talking, okay, I got to be an American for a second. I'm talking about all y'all. There, see? There, 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 there. Um, you got to say y'all if you come down here in the no, South. I, you know what? <laughs> if I could, no, I don't want to spark a debate that I can't finish on here. But if I could figure out a way to become an American citizen, I would do it tomorrow. <laughs> and do, you, do you see the looking right here? That's serious. I, I would. I love your country. I love your, your people. You guys are great, especially down in the South. You're awesome. You're family-oriented. You know, you still believe in the right values, the right principles. I love it. So I mean that. I would appreciate it. In yeah, thank you. Well, hey, you know, to, look at it. Me and Tim, me and Brian are the Southerners down here, and then Tim and Nate and y'all. I mean, we I are Northerners. North the <laughs> Northerners. <laughs> Listen to the guy from Georgia talk about the Mason Dixon line right here. Right. Hey, isn't right. That weird? <laughs> we still I talk about that down here. <laughs> at that point in time, I don't think Idaho was even a, a thing. <laughs> yeah, I, it was out <laughs> Yeah, that was that was owned by the traveling yeah. Wilburys. Yeah. Roy Orbison, I think, <laughs> had a stake in that at one point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to look for some women yama tonight. So that's um, kind of the oh, thing that yeah. I kind of picked out for this evening. Um, uh -oh. I, I did have some some Jamal Murrays that came in recently, but they're like buried those. under my hockey cards, which, again, I've gone through. And Perch, I got <laughs> some more cards for you. I don't know if you have some Tim Hortons. Ovies, but I, I have a few for you to put aside. So, um, yeah, yeah, Rev, that is a question that I may not be able to answer in truth or in part, but I will say <laughs> I feel uh, the same way up here in Idaho, there, Rev. <laughs> you know, we are at capacity, <laughs> we feel that way in Georgia a little bit sometimes, so right. <laughs> oh, I feel like that in the summer when all y'all come up here to the beaches and then leave. <laughs> it's right. like September comes along, it's like. Oh, thank God. I can go back to go through town in five minutes, not two hours. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. 17 the people in the chat. Top. 11 people uh, or 11 minutes in. Thank you so much, everybody, man. I appreciate everybody coming down tonight. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put Brian on the big screen here. I want to talk to him about his channel, how he got started, because he's been one of the original card crew guys. Um, hey, Maritza, thanks for coming. I appreciate you. Hola. Um, and, and I wanted to get to know him a little bit more, and I think you guys would too. A lot of you guys do know him, and uh, but it's always nice for other people who don't. So let's go ahead and change the layout around here for a minute, and we'll get some people on, and we'll start talking. So, Tim, I know you had a very pressing question you wanted to lead off with, okay. and that was, that was the hat. Ah, yes, I love your hat. I think it's great. Where did you get it? How did you? Or did you make it? Or did you buy it? Or like, well, how? How did it become? <laughs> you Actually, uh, in the beginning, right, my channel was called Brian Basketballs Pre Two Thousand and Four. I didn't know what to call it. 
That's what I was. I had stopped collecting in 2004 of any kind of cards at all. Right. I had no idea what the channel was going to become or anything mm -hmm. like that. I just wanted to basically document my cards. Right. In case something happened because people were telling me crazy things about the hobby. You know, I just stumbled across it. I came in late after everyone had already, you know, started grading their cards and already found it. It was after COVID, guys. <clears throat> During COVID, I, I wasn't paying any attention because I was busy. I, never mind. We're not going to talk about that part of what happened. But anyhow, uh, my channel got fired off just showing my uh, my binders. Then I started pulling out old boxes and stuff, and I didn't realize everything that I, that I had. Stuff that I hadn't opened that I just put away. Like, you know, I, I've been putting away stuff since I started back in the hobby again. I'm like thinking, well, you know, maybe those five boxes I bought back in 2021 or whatever, maybe later could be worth something. But I, it was right when I got back in it. Then I stopped really collecting there for a while. After I got back in it and after my channel started. But if you want to know more about my channel, uh, I do more of the shout out videos, guys. I do shorts. I follow basketball. I try to file, follow all the card channels because I'm an avid basketball card collector along with uh, all the other sports. But I really have never got into the baseball as far as opening up those boxes. <clears throat> Although you have seen me rip a whole bunch of my channel. Uh, early on, I wasn't interested. I was just interested in basketball because that was my uh, – I went after Desmond Mason. That, that's what got me in the hobby. What I've got on my chest right here is his rookie jersey, or not his rookie jersey. This is when he played for the Thunder. This is a signed rookie jersey here when he played for the Supersonics. Nice. Supersonics. Oh, nice. So, and you got Tropicana, all right? So. <laughs> just just <a> Supersonic. <laughs> uh, uh, just just one second. Thank you, Nick, from Whole Southern Cooks for that wonderful yes, super awesome. chat. Thank you so much. You are awesome. That is very, very appreciated. You're, you're one of the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, he was good. And you know what? I, I started to follow the Thunder as well. Uh, back when Westbrook and KD and all those guys were destroying the league and, and – oh, and, uh, and man, it was something to watch. It was really something to watch. I was on the opposite end of that. I was the butthurt uh, Sonics fan that stopped watching basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When, when Desmond Mason was drafted, I went out and got the NBA ticket so I could watch every Super Sonics game. Nice. So I watched every commercial you were watching during that time. That we, nice. We, was up there for those two years before he got traded over to Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Then he got traded uh, to New Orleans. And he played in Oklahoma City, guys, during Katrina. When Katrina hit and the, the New Orleans Hornets were relocated to Oklahoma City for two years, I, I went to a lot of those. Because nice. of that would be awesome. Yeah. And I, I wore a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I bet that's awesome. But warm up, I usually wear that has the horn, the hornet on it. That's an Oklahoma State Hornet jersey, George, uh, worn by him. Oh, nice. Game worn. That's cool. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Back and everything. So, yeah, I'm a pretty much a super fan of Desmond Mason. But anyway, nice. My, my channel is to more of a shout out channel now. But I, in the beginning, I was just showing my collection. <laughs> And like I was saying backstage, I've got stuff that maybe even Sensei and the other folks that followed me forever have forgotten about because I've only showed it one time on my channel. Nice. <laughs> wow. Nice. That'd be That's fun. Good. That'd be fun. Yeah, I, I love vintage basketball as well. I'm a huge vintage mm -hmm. basketball collector, especially <laughs> Julius Irving um, and Magic Johnson from the 80s. I love those cards. Alvin Hayes. Uh, any of the Knicks from the 70s, you know, the million dollar backcourt guys. Um, I'm, I'm working on a set of 70 tall boys. I'm missing like 20 cards. And yes, I'm missing the Pistol Pete, of course, like everybody. So they don't have, you know, a car, another car to sell to buy one. Um, so I'm just waiting for the time is right to, you know, be yeah, able to do that. 
nice. And there's 75s. Those are nice. Yeah. They're uh, huge. I love those cards. Yeah. And I love the vintage stuff, especially the tall boys. They're my, yep. my favorite. I uh, got a lot of Will Chamberlain cards as well. Um, he's always cool to collect. And I was collecting him before the pandemic, right here and there. And then everything shot up in value. So I ended up buying a lot of stuff on the high end on the vintage uh, basketball. But it was still pretty undervalued at the time, right? Because then Zion hit and then everything went nuts. <laughs> like absolutely crazy. Hey, Vogs, thanks for coming, man. Hey, what's up, Will? Hey, Will, yeah, did you up? see my question? <laughs> I that's oh, right. my little way the way to say hi to Will. He's awesome. <laughs> he's Love hey, Roll Titerman rules, man. He's one of the COGs, one of the COG OG guys. There you Hell go. yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Roll. And he was on Zach's channel to talk. Um, he's also a Braves bro. So there you go, Roll. Yeah, and so is uh, Bipster. So thank you again. I hope you're feeling better, David. I want to see some more content coming out of you. I miss you, buddy. I miss your chats. Yeah. I miss your lives. Um, I really do. I hope you're feeling better. And if you're not, uh, prayers up to you, and um, you're in my thoughts for sure all the time. Absolutely. You know. So, Sean? But, yeah, bas <laughs> basketball is a great sport. And, and you know what? I think since the pandemic – um it's really taken off like it really has um because it was one of the last sports to really shut down before the shutdown happened and then That's Rudy wrong. Gobert with his dirty fingers like I remember when I pulled that hoops card I I had gloves on it eh? and I was like <laughs> I'm not touching this thing yeah I almost had a Tim I was like I'm not doing this you know um, I wish I was recording videos back then. That would have been a great video. Honest to God, that would have been perfect. That's that's a that's a million dollar short right there. If there ever was one, right? But yeah, he he was a thunder. I mean, it yeah. happened. Here. I mean, the whole thing shut down because of here. I'm like, what? Crazy. Yeah, it was craziness, mass panic. Um, but but yeah, I really uh, enjoy collecting basketball cards. Still, I am. Uh, I do a lot of hockey stuff on the channel. One, because I'm in Canada, right? Oh. And and when you're in Canada, hockey's king. So that's what's going to get you. It's all regional, right? So that's what's going to get me uh, people like, you know, connected with DM and Firebox Breaks and Julie Farnham and, you know, Daryl Gennaro and those people. Because um, they're hockey folks too, right? You know, and Perch. and um, So it, it's fun. And then I get to meet you guys down south and you know it's baseball and football and basketball and college and braves okay so yeah. like <clears throat> go dogs go dogs, go dogs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. and that's a d-a-double-g-s <laughs> that's it <laughs> that's it that's how we do <laughs> love the dogs oh no i didn't know that here we're gonna highlight that comment uh, Renee says, do you know how many times I've had to sign Rudy Gobert into the media dining area because he doesn't like to eat in the locker room? Oh, Interesting. Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> so he's, he actually self-quarantines. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's considerate, you know, especially when he's doing all that, you know. <laughs> that was crazy, eh? I'm like, what the hell did I just watch? The world's gone mad. Honest to God, okay. bro. You know? Perch. <laughs> Perch, you were evil, buddy. What do y'all think of that? Oh, I oh, think that was yeah. beautiful. Nice, Bobby. I got well, a couple signs. That's like beautiful. Bobby. Yeah, no, I'm a big fan of the Hulls. Uh, this is his son, Brett's. Uh, minor league card it was a food police issue here i'll just bring it up so you can see um this is a food issue uh coca-cola mcdonald's it was a hand cut um and this is when they were the affiliate to the calgary flames or should i say the atlanta flames let's go let's go baby. Um, so that was cool i got to meet him uh, my dad was a season ticket holder so we got to do the um family skate with the team and such uh -huh. um, I got to meet him before he got called up to Calgary and then got traded awesome. away. But uh, big fan of the Hulls. Big fan of the Hulls. 
How long did he play for Calgary before he set, traded to St. Louis? I think it was like a year and a half. It wasn't long. It was it's pretty quick. I always remember him being a St. Louis Blue to me. Yeah, St. Louis Blue, and then he played for the Red Wings, and then he played in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Southern Fried Carrots and Sensei Domino. Yep. Did you? Absolutely. Did you? Oh, blues. what do you got there, Tim? It's the Blues. It's just a starting lineup of Hall Blues. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Uh, Tim's got a really cool starting lineup collection, actually. Sorry, it was sitting right here. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you, it's not formal there. We're just very disjointed around here. We just do what we do. Yeah, these were sitting right there. I got much. Hey, Kevin. We hey, have random up, Kevin? coming in, coming in Kevin. from Georgia, from the Atlanta area. So, again, shout out to the Braves bros. South <laughs> Georgia representing. I'm going to say it. I said it last year. I'm saying it again. I'm going to double down. Blue Jays and Braves for the World Series. Yep. Braves look good for make... this weekend. They took oh, two they of three. Sure did. They look sure good. looked good. So did the Blue Jays. Off to a Seattle start. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, take it up the rear, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, sorry. I didn't win one, lose talk. one. Win one, lose one. <laughs> sorry. I, I did. I said I wasn't going to mention P. Diddy. I apologize. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least he's down in Florida. <laughs> he's somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If he if he was smart, he'd get his passport and get he's that. Being guy watched out. right now is what's happening. He's being watched. Oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, anyways let's aside. go on to some basketball. Yeah. So <laughs> what do you got there, Brian? I, I saw something that kind of piqued Ooh. my attention. Oh, very cool. Ooh, nice. Is that ticket? Yeah, it's a ticket. It is. Nice. For the Stanley Cup Damn. playoffs. Yes, wow. At the Spectrum and the Flyers played. So that would have been Bobby or um, Bobby Clark at Bernie Perrant and Dave the Hammer Schultz and Rick McAleish and all of those guys. Nice. Yes. That's probably too much light. I don't know if that helps. I don't know where. I love it. That's beautiful. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's nice. It's a four, but guys. I, I was on an auction, right, on eBay, late late at night. Love auctions. But about <laughs> three years ago, right? And you've already got one card in your in your deal, and you're going $5.95. What else can I grab off this guy? Right. Have him just throw in that basket, because I know we don't want to bother with packaging up another one. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is like $4.95. $4. What? And I'm like, the PSA grade is... Twenty-two dollars. Right. I got find the card and and beg someone to that you know to trade you for it or let you get it off of them because who has them? Who still has them? Exactly. Those exactly. Yep. And and that's what I know. Timmy and I were talking about that. That to me is the bar for whether or not I'm going to buy a slab card, mm -hmm. um, especially if it's not of a guy that I PC. If it's right. below the cost of getting it graded, I'm going to pick no that problem. bad boy up. Oh Hell yeah! yeah all, all day. day. Long. <laughs> all day long especially right? when you're able to find them on those cool auctions where nobody's watching and they're like 99 cents a buck two bucks all day long <laughs> all day. especially if you're going to pay three dollars <laughs> combined shipping for 10 yep. cards giddy up why not Just throw another one in yeah, that's right. <laughs> how many you want to fit in that five dollar shipping <laughs> thanks for i appreciate you hey alan well you williamson up, pal? super awesome dancer from the bonner day breakfast club he's one funny dude uh, yeah. Thanks for coming, Alan. I, I really appreciate you. Yeah. There you go, double, double two. Yeah. So um, I wanted to um, I wanted to ask you something. Who else do you PC? So I know it's uh, Rui Hashimura. I Desmond, know it's Mason. Desmond Mason. That's it. That's the rest it. for sale. I mean, my Michael <laughs> Jordan's guys. Oh, I mean. I, I think that's going to be the last one, and my wife's going to sell it for twenty dollars at the at wherever the LCS when she walks in there, you know. But I want them. I want my Michaels forever because I really enjoyed them, and I really enjoyed collecting them and everything. Oh yeah, but, for sure. But my Kobe's, I, I have an attachment to my Shaq's. I have an attachment. You know, you, you get those attachments because. They bring back memories of what you were doing when you watched the game, when you got the card. And if, exactly. the, if the new kids that were watching on the streams and everything figured out the 
what it feels like to hold a Kobe Bryant in your card when he scores 35 or scores 52 or whatever. You exactly. know, you're going, yeah. Or, or if you get one that he's held in his hand and wrote his signature on. Guys, man. Right. Uh, connection there, and it's just like putting up videos and putting out content for the cards themselves as we're documenting. It's yeah. not our feelings about them, too. Definitely. I really yeah, absolutely i agree 100 percent. and i i, I just, collect all kinds of things guys i've got this is something that's probably been seen a few times i've got like chicago bulls stuff now this is one of the things i'm giving away uh one of these one of the the tribunes and one of the well they're both tribunes but like this is june the 16th 1998 and this is june the 15th and they're both like the, the things that hung up in the bathrooms forever at the urinals. Right. <laughs> yeah, nice. that's awesome. But but yeah, that, when he won the six, when he's won the six championship. Yeah, uh, yeah. Four copies of it. So in my thousand subscriber giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away one of each of those. I might as well. I mean, I could put it on eBay, and the person that bought it, I don't think would appreciate it as much as the one that won it. As far as I'm concerned. Absolutely, hundred percent. Right. Yeah. Other person that I'm giving it to, too. You know, I, I I love giving away my my part of my collection. That's part of my deal. It's uh, fun. I, I enjoy it. I used to give away on every stream, guys, but you know I, I couldn't be Daryl, Mister Nine Five. Yeah. <laughs> <Right. laughs> bang, bang, bang. But anyway. Hey, you know what? I saw a video today where Daryl won a Andre Dawson uh, autograph today, and I was so excited when oh, see nice. Because that oh, man deserves person. to win. He's the most generous person here on YouTube. Uh, just he like is. Brian and, and is as well, and, and Maiden and Tim. But uh, I, I'll just say this. like I was so pumped to see uh, Daryl win that because Daryl is one of the best. I mean, I'm, oh, yeah. I, I anytime I get him to come on my channel, I do it because Daryl's just so knowledgeable, and he's, he's such a good guy as well. Well, I remember when he was on your stream and he was talking about when he was in the wrestling business. Yeah. And some of the crazy stories coming out of there. Yeah. I'm like, I can just sit here like this. You go, know. Uncle Daryl, tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> tell me more about Doink the Clown when you wrestled with him. I mean, like one of my favorite wrestlers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love that. You know, it's awesome. And that's what's cool about the community is that you get to meet everybody and they're all from different walks of life. They all collect different things, but we all collect stuff. Right. And, and that's the kind of the beauty of the community. Um, you know. And, and everybody's in different communities. Like, you know, I, I like cards. I like music. I collect, like, music stuff, records and tapes, especially analog. I always mess with analog uh, record players and stereos and worked on them and effed around with those. I love doing stuff like that. Um, now that my kids are getting older, they require more time and more attention, and I don't get around to that stuff as much as I used to. Um, but I do like it, and I do enjoy that stuff. Um you know, let me show you something else before we give it over to uh, Zach. There, the, the thing is, I wanted to come on here and show stuff that y'all wouldn't have thought I would have brought, right? Y'all thought I was going to come out here and throw banger basketball. Who thought I was going to throw up Bobby Hall? <laughs> I know, I love it. It's no. right over, man. I was so pumped to see it. Man. I love that. Here's Oklahoma City Hornets when they played. Oh, uh, oh that's cool. That's awesome. Hey, I've got Oklahoma City Hornets and Phoenix. I've got uh, this one right here, guys. This one, Kevin Durant, K KD was a rookie. I'm not a rookie. Uh, pardon me. A freshman at Texas. And they oh, played nice. in Oklahoma City. And I was on the fourth row right behind the Texas bench. Oh, nice. And guys, if I would have had a camera back then, geez, oh, I bet, eh? <laughs> wow! Goodness wow. gracious, I was right up on them. The self-proclaimed goat. H have y'all noticed that there's people grading these now? Oh yeah, these like, are getting graded. These are like, like you the get pocket up schedules. Yeah. Oh really? The yeah, the pocket <laughs> schedules. They're a thing. They're a thing. I I gotta few hockey ones myself actually <laughs> there's one with the mavericks here's nice. one Oklahoma City. Oh, my Braves one 
Maybe it'll be historic one day. <laughs> oh, which one's that one, Zach? Which one's that oh, one? I got this at Racetrack for free the other day, uh, which is a gas station. <laughs> it's the Braves schedule this year. <laughs> hey, we Maybe got it'll be historic right? if they win it all. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, hell yeah. This one was oh, a that's a nice slam in it. Yeah, I got to yeah. see the set in the suites for this one, and they played the Oklahoma City played the Hornets. Oh, nice. sweet. I came back into town. I'm like, nice. yes, I play there. That's when James came to town, Le LeBron. And I yeah. got to, that's when Chris Paul, as a rookie, got to play LeBron James. That's cool. Right wow. Yeah, KD was cold blooded for sure. For sure, There's, he was. I don't know who was playing for uh, Portland at that time, but there's two Portlands. Nice. When the Hornets yeah, those, those are nice, Brian. Yeah, there's Spurs, Nuggets, uh, Memphis Grizzlies, and one of those kind of tickets. Nice. Knicks. Oh, here, here's coaches on them. That, that one has coach. Stop. Nice. Hey, look at this. This is a rookie. That's there cool. you go. Ricky with his signature it kind of looks like his signature faux signature on it. Oh, we got some stubs, some more stubs. Yeah, I, I thought you thought that y'all wouldn't think. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Tom mentioned now you can't really get many ticket stubs, right? Yeah, they don't do them like anymore. It's on your phone, right? Everything's digital. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you know they're gonna have it on your head and you scan in your forehead. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. These That's aren't floor tickets, get. Maiden. <laughs> These are the cheapies. Go upstairs, you bum. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, Lord. That's hilarious. I have a ticket in my basketball. Put it up here. Right. <laughs> I love that hat. That hat. Yeah, how did you get that hat? Uh, okay, there's let me finish the story then. Oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry, oh, no, 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 you asked me <laughs> earlier, and I never finished it. Okay, so guys, I, I was looking through my collection one night, right? And I come across a big box of, like, starting lineups and stuff like, like you were just showing. Yeah. And I come across Opat in a box. Nice. That, that I got for uh, a birthday, like, and this was probably during their height, you know, when, when Tom was winning all the Super Bowls. Yeah. Right. My kids got me that. And I like pulled it out. And I'm like saying, well, I need something up here. And I was watching the Bipster and he had Yahoo or Wahoo. Wahoo. Wahoo, 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 Wahoo yeah. the turtle. Yeah. Love Wahoo. Right there. Hey, he's, hey, Wahoo. Wait, hey. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. That bobblehead. Yeah. Love Wahoo. I kind of stole that from him because he had a mascot. Everyone has like a knifey or whatever. I, then I got my tutor. That, that came along. Uh, I used to have a song at the beginning of each show that was just a laughing song. It was like to my grandmother, but I've changed that into more of the train song now. And I sang a song coming in. I sang a song going out. All right. To finish the helmet story, Timmy, let me get sidetracked. Get turned back around on the train. Start pumping the train. Get turned around. All right. So I saw this, right? And I saw my basketballs out there. And everything, I'm like going, well, why don't I just put a basketball on? My, my name is Zari Brian Basketballs pre-2004. How are they going to be able to find me on YouTube? Well, Brian, make yourself yeah. a basketball hat. So I made me a bat. I designed it myself. Nice. See how nice. I have little forks on the end? Guys, y'all yeah. can make one. Look, look. Uh, if you look I love at it. That's great. On the line, awesome. Right? Yeah. Right here, you two did a little cut up. Then on the back, you follow the lines, and then you just put it to the back of your head and hold it there like this with the ball and touch it and bring the ball back up around and, like, put two marks right there then just cut you a little ring right there and put it on your head. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. pretty cool. What a night, man. We're getting behind the scenes. I love of the it. I know. This is, <laughs> Everybody's you don't get now. this access unless you're coming here, guys. Oh. This is how we roll up in here. Brian, right. you are amazing. You're a great creator. You're an original guy. You're right. so positive, and I love watching your collection. And, and again, man, thanks for coming on. You bet. I know. I notice I'm the only one that's straight up and down. I should have went sideways. Well, see, Zach and I were talking about that, and I wasn't sure how the four people would work with the vertical thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try just to rip some packs vertically and see how that works out, and then maybe add Tim or somebody else just to see. 
because he and I did it the other day. It was pretty cool. No, it, was it was different. Amazing. It was different. Um, here, let's it go back to the crazy people in the stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. not not people are that that are that are crazy, but yeah. a crazy amount well, of people. They got to be crazy. The They're coming here. <laughs> go ahead, Mac, and look yeah, at they got to be a little bit crazy. <laughs> it was the numbers for that stream was amazing. You got it a was. monster turnout that night, and I you did too. And yeah, yeah, but I did I did half of what Tim did. Tim, Tim dude, I, I was blown away when we when we got done. I looked to see how many views. It was like twenty three hundred. I was like, yeah. what? I only had thirteen hundred, and I was doing flips. It was <laughs> insane. Yeah, I, Maiden and I were talking. I, I was just like, this is just yeah. Like I'm saying, just insane. This is crazy, Maiden. This what's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I was like. Really? What's up, bro? <laughs> Holy man! Really? We gotta do this. Oh, we gotta do this soon. Mm -hmm. Especially three, if you. Sorry, man. I interrupted. But three things I should I noticed from the vertical. I gained thirty subscribers in one stream. I I I got um, I my revenue on viewing was up by about a couple dollars. And I had 1,300 views for going vertical this week. I could not believe that. I mean, yeah, that's 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 totally great funny. because because you get paid by the click when you're monetized with AdSense. Yeah. So so those yeah. extra clicks, even if they don't stay, it's still like stay for 30 seconds and split. That's cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. And and you know, it's cool. Some will stay. Some will come on. Some will hang out. Uh, Tim and I had a couple of people that hung around and stayed and kind of got to know them a bit and stuff. Yeah, so. it was cool. I really think cool. that'll be fun. I think that's sort of the way of the future, maybe. Uh, thanks, thanks, Rev J. I appreciate you, buddy. Um, like, hey, Spintex, we're just talking about the whole vertical <laughs> live thing. Smith was, was talking like, about last night, and he said, you know, he's worried about everybody now cross streaming because everybody's going to want to go vertical because of the views on it. And yeah, and I think that's what we all got to kind of be careful for, you know, cross streaming our buddies and our friends. You know, we still want to be supporting our friends and yeah, and, uh, and all that. But uh, you mean like I, some of the other people that are streaming right now in the middle of my time? Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Love that. So but after I, I, after the show, we're gonna have some uh, cleaning up to do in the old subscription department, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I could just watch hockey. I'm not gonna watch their stuff. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. very easy so, for me. I, I was um. I noticed that I was like, I could not believe it. Like, um, you know, and, and my average du view duration of per person was one minute. But you know what? With thirteen hundred people, I'll take one minute. That's, I mean, that's right. ten times what Thank I get it. on a Thursday. So I was excited about that. We're, Thank we're all sure. you all for watching you know, on Thursday. Right. But I'm just saying, I was <laughs> super pumped about that. Hey, it helped me pay for my packs. Look, it. I didn't. I did. I'm not <laughs> talking when I talk about this monetization. I'm not talking about trying to get myself rich and. And go out and hit the clubs. I'm talking about paying for a, a three packs on a Thursday night so I can be able to rip it. Okay, because I'm, I'm losing money when I'm ripping the packs out the top. I'm just saying. That. Yeah, well, that's right. that's exactly it. I was just saying to Bert, we were laughing. I was like, yeah, if I could just get enough for a Happy Meal, I'm cool, man. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I don't need much. Right. I'm not yeah. like you know, like obviously we all have income. We have we pay for the internet already. Like yeah. you know, nobody's destitute here. Um, trying to make this like you know a billion dollar page when people that mow lawns get more views in a lot of cases than the guard guys do mm -hmm. um right you know but you know what i've always said this you're not going to make a million bucks but you'll probably make a million friends and yeah. that's cool with me and that's why i'm here you know right. uh bert sith you especially you yeah. uh timmy and now brian and you know firebox breaks keith mm -hmm. julie farnham like I bet some DM Danny, Dan and some... Birch, man. I got to hang out with them Friday night. They are so awesome, man. I had the they are, time. man. That was great cool, guys. Guys. And, and Renee, like I, I've gotten to meet some really in Robert Springs. Like I've gotten to meet some really cool people that I call friends. They're not just exactly. people that come to my channel and hang out. We talk, mm -hmm. talk about current events. Hey, how's your life? What's going on with your life? You know, because we care about each other. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah definitely. You know, and hey, it's, it's good. About. It's good to help me with, you know, it helps me with my pack ripping. And, and then I know that I can take my per personal money and, and go, you know, spend it on power bills and taking care of the kids and stuff. And then exactly. I can take that little revenue and, and I can, and I don't feel guilty when I rip packs and I don't get nothing out of the base, but I do love base, but I'm just saying, you know, you kind of want to have some kind of return when you rip the pack every now and then, but you know, exactly. And, and it has to be like worth your, your while because you know, there's yeah. like, you know, there's guys that will rip $500 boxes of Cosmic 
and and they'll get 30 views. It's yeah. Like, no, it breaks whoa. my heart when I see that too. Cause I'm like, man, you spent all that on that. And like, I really started thinking about that about a year or two ago. And I'm like, man, I'm not doing that. And then Brian was talking oh. about that last night on his video, you know, he was yeah. ripping stuff and I was, I was still, you're showing some receipt you had from some of your expenses, Brian. And I was feeling for you, man. Like, um, but, but you know, that's what, that's why I rip three packs. I mean, I love to go through here and rip a blaster every week, but unless I'm getting it for like, well, I got a couple of blasters on fanatics the other day for like five and $10, but yeah, let's get you on the big screen. Zach. Zach. But, um, yeah. Oh, there. okay. I'm here. Hey y'all. <laughs> 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 on the wide screen <laughs> frugal remember i said we're not cheap or frugal frugal, frugal. that's right that's what zach's collection always says to me yeah but super pumped about being on here tonight with these guys man it's honor um I, probably some of y'all saw me friday night are probably tired of me you see me on thursday friday and sunday here <laughs> uh, no, and i had to stop by tonight to be here with my bros man maiden and tim and brian they're three of my best friends here on youtube and these are great guys i'm super honored to be here tonight Happy Easter, everybody. Yeah, I got the creepy Easter bunny with me tonight. Super <laughs> pumped about having him with me. Yeah, like and, uh, man, no, I, um, but uh, honored to be here. Brian, you know, Brian also is part of that Spine Ticks train, man. You know, we yes. got a great train leading up the Spine Ticks on Saturday night. I was going to wear my Spine Ticks shirt tonight. I should have wore it, man. Sorry about you should've. that. should have. And since um, we got to talk, I got to get one of those up in Canada somehow. Yeah, I should have wore it tonight. Sorry about that. So next time I, I'm going to ask him, I'll do that. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, super honored to be here tonight. Uh, happy Easter. Um, Braves took two out of three. My Atlanta United won today. My yeah. Falcons have hope. They have Kirk Cousins as their quarterback. I'm super pumped about them this season. And then uh, the Hawks have won some games without Trey Young. There is hope for my Hawks to make the playoffs. So, you know, as Atlanta sports fan, I'm pretty happy. And my Georgia Bulldogs will be back in the national championship running next year. Go dogs! Two-time national champions. Let's go, dogs! All right. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna I ramble. know. Hey, anyway. it's, it's a good day for sports for me, too. Yeah. Brian's about to toot it right here. <laughs> I'd be happy about right now. That's awesome. Uh, hey, you know what? And, and you, you know, I, I go to spy ticks for the cats. Yeah, man. Swag needs to like the cats more, man. I was just giving swag hard <laughs> about the cats Saturday night. Oh, that's that's becoming a that's becoming a cool shtick. It um, is. It is. And, and those guys get great chemistry, and, and we we oh. do. Uh, we have some great examples about how thing this kind of stuff is done. When you go over there and you see you see the engagement and the panel and the, the topics and the laughs and the spine ticks train is always a fun thing to watch. Now I'm going to talk to much and see if I can get a little 15 minute spot somewhere on that train as well because I want to start doing more long form card stuff again uh, because I, I low key I've kind of gotten bored of the AI stuff a little bit. I tend to, I kind of went a little hard and and may need to take a break from that for a little bit and want to do some more card stuff. So um, I'm going to talk to Munch and see if there's any spots for this old fella here to 15 minutes of fame. And That's awesome. Yeah, like that train, man. That and train's all those going. Guys on are putting out great content. You know, Random Rips just jumped in on the train. That was pretty cool to see. Random Rips, big fan of Kevin. And, um, you know, yeah, he got on awesome. the phone. Yeah. I, I watched it, but I was on the phone because of all the crazy stuff that was going on at the house here. Yeah, same uh, here so house, I didn't, yeah, right, you know. <laughs> we were uh, talking about that before three. <laughs> so, so Sid, I'm not um, banned from Kroger. Sorry, I won't go into it. <laughs> no, we're, uh, Sid, <laughs> I do apologize for uh, not really being active in the chat last night. Um, the guy that called wasn't trying to sell me something because that would have been a quick, easy, like, oh, cool, that's great, bye. Uh, conversation, but it wasn't. It was something like uh, crazy. Like I'll tell you offline, but um, I did watch a bit of the replay and the great, great discussions last night. Great panel. Bert, Bert is yeah, awesome. Last night he was doing awesome. That was. Great. He is. He's a smart guy, man. He knows the stuff, and he's willing to share stuff that he learns. That's the thing, right? Um, and same with Sith. And same with you. And same with me. And oh, same I with Tim. And you know, I always say that on my stream about how much Sith has helped me. But there's stuff behind the scenes here where Sith has helped me um, so much grow my channel. You know, I watch Sith grow and me too. He, he spread that knowledge onto us. And y'all, like I say this every week, I'll probably say this on here. If you're not watching Spine Ticks, he gives you free advice. He was talking about vertical last night, how you can grow your channel. And I've taken a lot of advice that he's given me and I've used it. And 
look, I'm at 7.1K right now. And I'm not trying to brag, but I mean, that's because. Yeah, you are. Because of what Sid has helped Friggin me. Friggin' bragger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm proud. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying I got there. Really, I'm not a 7K. I know. I'm channel. just teasing. I'm more like a 1,000K a channel, to be honest with you. But still, I wouldn't have gotten there without Sith. And Sith is, is a big reason why I've gotten to where I've got because of his help. And, um, and I'm, I'm all I'm thankful for him for what he's done for me. I really so am I. So am I. And, and a great, great pal, great friend of the community. And again, I know that you know he's shifting gears and moving his stuff into different places. And, and again, he tends to be the first, and then everybody tends to follow after that. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the so thing, man. He's going more cats and, and stuff like that. I love cats. I mean, I have another channel called Zach the Gardener and Farmer. And if you watch some of that, I've been doing cat shorts and I've been doing uh geese shorts and cow shorts and horse shorts and farm shorts i've been doing some animal shorts too so i love that stuff too man yeah. I, mean, a lot of this year called, I, I don't do that here on the sports guard channel but you know i have three cats and a poodle and I, I love those shorts too man with jerry and uh all the cat community man y'all are awesome on renee who's part of that cat community, <laughs> Bert and all them and people there in the cat man i'm on a cattainment man i love that man. four balls up baby let's go and that's noble <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might see on uh in, in sports cars and things Friday night. I had mm. cats on top of me, they were hanging off. I went and hanged out with those guys, and I had cats hanging on top of me. So, shout out to cats, man. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'll exactly. Go. I love seeing that Super Mario stuff coming back. Seth, yeah, uh, you got a great channel, you got a good eye. And, um, again, like Zach said, you've been a huge help to me personally as well, offline and online. Same with Bert, uh, same with Renee. Um, Again, the community, man. The community. Yep. The community. It's the community, man. It's not me. It's not you. It's not him. It's not him. It's the community. Exactly. It's not right. us. It's the collective we. And mm -hmm. it's great. You know, you imagine if more people could be like sports cards, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Can you I imagine mean, what, what we would accomplish? Maybe we accomplish some of those futuristic cities that I put out there for hours at a time. <laughs> right. Speaking of which, we're going to have one this week, y'all. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> But this is a um, great community. I met so many great friends, you know, not only in America, but Canadian, you know, my hockey friends, you know, hanging out with yeah. Dana Perch on Friday night, got to hang out with the hockey community and talk hockey. Um, and a lot yeah. of people don't hear me talking about a lot of hockey, but I love hockey. I was sharing with them my passion for hockey and uh, I love hockey cards. And those guys are great, man. Dan is killing it. Dana Perch, man, they are. I'm oh, yeah. so proud of them. And, and that wouldn't be possible without Maiden. Maiden hit me up and said, you know, Dan's got this great channel. Um, and I was like, oh, man, and I had him on. We all hanged out. I got to get no Dan, and now I got to get no Perch. These guys are awesome. And uh, Yeah, and and you know what's really cool is that you trusted me enough to bring somebody in um, yeah. that I trusted and and bring him into the fold. And he's been a wonderful addition to our crew mm -hmm. and, our, and our circle of people in the, the card space. Because, again, we're not – we're not – a lot of us aren't breakers. You know, we're not doing breaks. We're not doing $500 box reveals. There's just a couple of guys hanging out talking cards like we would at Love the hobby shop. Yeah. Or in the parking lot at the hobby shop. And now we don't have to look weird while we talk for hours in the parking lot at the <laughs> hobby shop. <laughs> like, let's be honest here. Like, or, or at the antique mall, you know, and you're fighting those old ladies up there. It's like, <laughs> I got it. I have to get that Ghostbusters miniature. <laughs> Hell yeah. They or you're in the target real. checkout aisle, you know, <laughs> trying to get that latest restock, you know. You know, okay, so I got to tell you this funny story because we have a Walmart here. We don't have Target because Target got run out of Canada because Walmart decided, and yeah, I'll probably get shut down for this, but Walmart decided that they didn't want Target in Canada, so they really they really pushed, pushed them out. Like, they basically did what Fanatics did to Panini to oh, wow. Target. They really pushed them out. Um, but I miss Target. We we loved it. But anyway, we're at Walmart the other day, and I see this family out, and the teenage daughter's out there, and she's got Crocs on with socks, okay? Crocs and socks, baby. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. And jammy pants. And then I look at the father, and he's got the ACDC jammy pants, and the mother's got black Sabbath ones on. I'm like, you guys are not metalheads. <laughs> I put my head down in shame, and I looked at my, my son, and I said, See, this is why I don't let you leave the house. It's sweatpants, jammy pants, or track pants. He said, why? Because people look at you like you're an animal. <laughs> so right. pajama pants nation needs to stop. 
Oh, yeah. I see it on – I work at a college, and the college kids, that's all I see going to class every day. I mean, you think they, they like, rolled right out of bed and just – A lot of them did. A lot of them did because they got yeah. drunk the night before, and they're I mean, just, like, sucking <laughs> up. Oh, yeah. I mean, right. they, they literally just roll right out of bed, and I'm like, man, did you not realize you had your pajamas on when you were walking to class this morning? And come on. Right? I'm out there on a lawnmower mowing grass, and I'm like, well. <laughs> uh, right like and you just shake your head you're like this generation's in a lot of trouble yeah yeah you <laughs> these are our future college. leaders yeah. Like hearts. yeah can you yeah. imagine watching your congressman stroll into the freaking thing and yeah. he's wearing jammy pants and a freaking business suit on yeah like, <laughs> this is how we roll now yeah that's what we do mm-hmm. like honestly no oh, no gosh that's crazy. But sure. again, thank you for coming on. I really enjoyed talking with you. We always have a laugh. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, me and Tim and May last time we after the stream, we're out, we're up to like an hour or two after the stream talking, hanging out, man. I think what did we go? Three, four o'clock in the morning hanging out, talking after yeah. the stream. Oh, yeah, it was my late. Boys, my friends. <laughs> and yeah. uh, man, I'm, I'm super pumped to have them as friends, man. I mean, we we go for hours talking, even after the stream talking. But I do have some stuff I want to show tonight, but can I kind of step away and let y'all yeah. talk and then do you uh, want me to open off. up? Do you want me to do the Wemby, the Wemby hunt? And then yeah, can... yeah, I'll do that. Well, I'll go, I'm gonna go, go off camera and go to the studio and uh, I'll be sure. right back. Y'all. Let's let's go ahead. Uh, I got my hockey wings tonight because I decided to uh, not get a haircut this weekend. So we're <laughs> going to open up this wonderful 2324 uh, Donruss Fed Pack. It's got the uh, pink hollow lasers. Um, you know, maybe we'll get a Jamal Murray, maybe not. And Brian, he's my guy. Uh, okay. He's the guy I PC the most. I have like 300 different Jamal Murray cards. Um, oh, oh, yeah. No, I'm I'm into him pretty big, big time. So I understand I understand your love of, of Des Mason for sure. Uh, so we got Cam Reddish coming in. I like the design of these. They're a little bit easier to read than last year's. Last year's were just atrocious. Cool. Um, well, Kate Cunningham. I'll oh, take Kate Cunningham. Hey, my OSU Cowboy. Yeah. That's right to college. I think I think he's gonna he's Fine. he's he's gonna do something, man. I know people are like doubting it, but he's gonna do something. And then we got Gordon Hayward, cool. great player there. And then uh, Clint Capella. All right. Yeah, great player for the Hawks. Shout out to Zach. And we got um, I think it's Hart and Tucker. Yeah. Taylor Horton Tucker for Utah. There you go. Yeah. Haven't heard much of he. Uh, Cameron Payne. I'm doing this in a weird way, guys. Sorry. I got to get used to doing this this way. I'm not used to this, so I do apologize. Um, but this is interesting. We have Steph Curry. Aha. Who's, right. I'm sorry. He's going to go down as one of the best guards ever in the NBA. Um but his uh, brother, it will not be. But <laughs> he's right here following S- S- Steph, which is interesting. Um, you know, he's married to Doc Rivers' daughter. Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. I didn't know that. And do you also know that Doc Rivers has not won a third quarter in a playoff game in 20 years? Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I think Doc Rivers was better as a player, man. I love Doc when he played for the Hawks in the 80s with Dominique and Spud, yeah. man. He's one of my favorites. He, he was. He's just – he his coaching decisions, like, it, 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 I struggle with that. Walker Kessler, another great young talent coming in hot. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, here, shout out to uh, Brian Basketballs, one of his one of his guys, Rui Hashimura. Let's go. There great you go. Player. Nice. Yeah, playing for the Lake Show there. Me too, got, George. Got uh, Hardaway Jr. coming in. Again, he's a great player. His pop was something else, man. Oh, man. You tip. Hell yeah. Let's see who's – oh, Mateus Thabale. Sure. Portland. There's the Trailblazers, yes. Yeah. We got Jared <laughs> Vanderbilt. The Lakers. Mm-hmm. These are a nice design this year. I actually really like these. Uh, Reggie Bullock. Cool. Yeah, and that's no Bullocks. Wow. Bojan. 
Bojan Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich. And if you guys remember during the COVID time, they had that laundry challenge where they had to step back like 100 feet and throw their laundry into a basket. And it was like 10 shots. He was the only one that got all 10. Yeah, he's oh. a good shooter for the Hawks. Hell yeah, he's good, man. EJ Lindell, super underrated. Super yeah. underrated for the Pels. He's playing with some big names, though, there. So that's a tough one. Jonathan Kaminga. Another nope. young, great young talent coming in. Man, he can throw some hammers down. Man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he makes great. it rain. Okay, you know, the, the first Kaminga was people were kind of thinking he was a bust, but he's really proved to be a really good player. He's turned it on in the last little bit for sure. For sure. Uh, now, this man here, no hate. Has the basketball IQ of a peanut, Kyle Kuzma. <laughs> See this right here? <laughs> I was just watching a thing on him on the NBA channel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, here's another one I, I have an issue with Ben Simmons. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to play, Mr. I don't want to play. Uh, yeah. I don't feel like it. Speaking of thought he was a bust and potentially may pull it out of the fire this year, Zion Williamson. Yeah, what a season he's having this year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're not going to be getting his PSA 10 hoops rookie for five bucks anymore. No. It's up to 15 now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my favorite players, DeAndre Jordan. Very nice. Yeah, I wish I had the other Nuggets uh, player, but I don't. Um, Norman Powell playing with the Clippers, ex-Raptor. I think the Clippers have pretty much all of the 2019 Raptors roster at this point. Uh, Candavarius Caldwell Pope. Former Georgia guy, Bulldog. Man. Yeah. yeah. KCP is a great player, man. He's been a huge – he was a huge piece of that that Nuggets organization the last little while. Uh, we got D'Angelo Russell. Sometimes I question his basketball IQ as well, but I give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, they got Kobe Buffkin on the rated rookie. I'm not sure with the Princess Leia pigtails, but shout out to all the Star Wars fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Lively, the second on the rated rookie. Shout out to Yoda. Yeah, absolutely. And we got Jalen Wilson on the rated rookie here for the for the Brooklyn Nets. And uh, we got the upside down card of Derrick Rose. I'm colorblind as a bat, so thank God I could see this through the camera lens on the uh, green on the green laser. Uh, I was like, "Is that blue? Is that black? Like, what the heck is that?" And uh, we got Mikael Bridges on the franchise features. Insert. Cool. Yeah, cool inserts for sure. We didn't get a downtown, um, but that's okay. We didn't get a Jamal Murray, and that's okay too. We got a Jabari Smith Jr. on the pink. I think that's pink. No, that's green. <laughs> so I guess we didn't get any pink, so we just got green. Okay, well, whatever. That's what it is. Um, so if you guys are interested to know how much this fat pack was in Canada, um, here. I am an Edge Platinum member. Thank you to Zach for that. Because Zach's yeah. like, you got to do this. So um, worth with, it. With my Platinum... Membership it was nine eighty nine, so uh -huh. there you guys go. So that's why when you're like, "Whoa, the Canadian guys don't open much product," that's because it's stupid. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Eight dollars at my GameStop, <laughs> and with five dollars, I usually get it for about two bucks. Yeah. Bucks. See, see, I'm saving up for mine um, because then I'll be able to uh, get something else. But it was basketball night, so I figured uh, we'd do a Wemby hunt. So we didn't get a Wemby either. So I just might be stuck buying one um, just to put away. Like, you know, like Brian says, just stick a few away and see what it looks like in a year or two. Um, so there you go, Zach. You're on the big screen with the 2021 Platinum Opeachy, which was a yeah. great set. 
my favorite. It's, I feel like it's the prism of hockey to me. I love <laughs> Excuse me. It uh, is. I've also um, included – okay, I'm looking at my camera, see how that looks. Okay, I've got the goat here, Gretzky, and then I, shout out to Sith. i uh, got Mario, and I added Yoda. Shout out to Yoda Vintage Cards right there. Yeah, um, shout out to the Bipster. I got some cards I want to show. First, I also always want to show my Tim – Incarnado Auto, he sent me. That's a <laughs> yeah. you know, man, that's a one. Right one right here. That's keep right, that right. around. When I'm ripping sports cards. I love that. <laughs> also, no shout out to Tim. I got this Ken Griffey Jr. '96 All Star right here. Oh, right sweet. Here. Nice. And, uh, this little shiny foily cool. there. Yeah, that's a show. He's a tops. I don't like that. Love it. Cool. I got love this in a, uh, the other day. It was a pretty cool card. And I found this one. This is a shout. Well, first I want to shout out a guy that me and you both love, Maiden. He's a Toronto Blue Jay and Atlanta Brave. That's Fred McGriff, our newest yeah, yeah. Hall of Famer, right? The, here, the right? crime dog crime himself. Dog. That's right. And you know, his first game ever in Atlanta, he caught the stadium on fire. That's an epic night. I'll never forget that night. Oh um, yeah, no, he he was my favorite Blue Jay. Like yeah, um, my- I was heartbroken when he left because at the time I was like, oh, who's this Roberto Alomar guy? And I don't know who's this Joe Carter guy. I don't know if these guys are going to be any good. And thank God it didn't end up being a Kawhi Leonard versus DeMar DeRozan situation um, for, for our team because the trade worked out for both sides because um, Fred McGriff's awesome, man. Yep. He's so hey, awesome. You, you, I know you're a super collector of this guy. Do you have this Jamal Murray? It's a jo- Jamal Mur- Murray Illusions Orange. I do not have the orange. I have the yellow. I have uh-huh. the blue, and I have the pink. I do not have the orange. Okay. Message That's me awesome. your address, and I'm going to send it to you. Oh, sweet. Thank you, man. That'd be like great. Him, and uh, I, I think it'd be better in your collection. So hit me up and uh, I'll send this for to sure. you. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. I'll put it off to the side. And I got, I'm waiting for the new Timmy's cards to come out in a couple of weeks. And I'll be sending you uh, a couple of packs with your Atlanta Flames cards that I got for hey, you. You sent me enough already, man. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I, I got this card. This is a contenders. Let's see if I can, if you, y'all see that on the camera? Chat? Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. This is a cool card. There's a guy, I won a contest on YouTube, and this guy lived in like New Zealand or Australia, and he sent me this card. Now, this is a Contenders Optic Shack All Star Inspirations. I don't know. Wow. It's a prism. It's pretty awesome. Know, 2021, but I just love the color of it. Look how shiny it is. Can y'all yeah, see that's it? That's great. Yeah, it love is. It's like that card. red cracked ice. Yeah. It's like like those cracked red. ice inserts for prism are just. They're yeah. they're the tops. I love that card. It's in his Lakers jersey. I just I that was absolutely I, I couldn't believe he sent like I won this and I thought oh, he's not gonna mail me that. He like lives in like New Zealand or Australia or somewhere, and he spent the money to ship it to America. That's like, awesome. Dang man, that's totally awesome. I really appreciate. It. Thanks, Roll. Shout out to the Roll. Braves, bros. I'm glad that's your right. team's in the final four, buddy. That's that'd a be, big that'd that'd Alabama. Alabama is in the final four. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Um, uh, Scotty Barnes, right here. Shout out to you and your and uh, I know your Raptors pull for the Raptors and Scotty Barnes. Absolutely, uh, I'm a big Scotty Barnes fan. And then look at this. I got a pretty cool Scotty Barnes collection. I won this on Free Friday breaks. This is uh, uh the red cracked ice. It's this, well, this is like an orange teal something. Oh, uh, variation. yeah, the orange teal shimmer. Shimmer, select. That's it. select. Yeah, because yeah. I have the concourse one of that. Yeah, I, I love this card. It, I mean, well, sorry about my glare, y'all. I mean, oh look, no, it's the top loaders. Everybody top knows. Loaders look that good, but it, it's that's what it is. But then look what else. Look, I pulled this one out of a blaster. I think me and Josh and Red Rum had a we had a blaster battle, and I pulled this cracked ice rookie Scotty Barnes. Oh, Just nice. Talk about that. That's a prism, uh, Scotty Barnes. But then uh, also, I know you, you talk about this guy all the time. Kawhi Leonard slam. I love the slam inserts. I don't know why Hoops oh, stopped yeah. doing that last year, but I love this slam inserts. It's one of my first slam I inserts. I do too. Nice. Um, I just love that. The slam. I inserts. love that magazine. I, yeah. I, I read that magazine. We subscribe to it here at the house. And um, yeah, we got the, you know, the big Michael Jordan cover one that's special with Michael Jordan and the one with Zion. And oh, yeah, no, I'm a big fan of that. Oh, that's a nice it. card. And this is a shout out you, Tim. Uh, the Bipster sent me this. This uh, shout oh, out Yoda nice. Vintage Cards. It's a um, uh, Randy Johnson uh, and his Mariners uh, traded. Yeah, the you know, 89 Ruth traded. Card. I nice. love it. Shout out to you and the uh, Yoga Vintage Cards. So this is a shout out to Brian Basketballs. This, you're talking about earlier tonight. 
This is one of my favorite card pulls in, in a prism basketball. This is a Josh Giddy Silver Prism uh, rookie card. And that's nice. why I'm always going for Giddy because, like, I love that card. Silver, Giddy. Nice. And, um, that, Brian, I'm always pulling for him because I have this card. You can't see it by the camera. Watch my views. Well, the Silver Prisms are the harder ones to get versus oh, yeah. the uh, the green or the, uh, the other ones because there's, you know, red cracked ice. Purple cracked ice, purple wave, teal. Like there's a bunch, but the silver one tends to be the harder one to get. So good um, score on that one. Yeah, I was super pumped about this. I pulled that out of a blaster. And then, Tim, mm -hmm. I'm trying not to make you go to sleep, but here's a oh, NASCAR. Oh, yeah. you come, don't go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I always got to oh. say that whenever I come on this channel, at least once. <laughs> uh, this is Richard Petty, TTM. It's signed in gold. Um, I love it. Very nice. That's awesome. I always show I had to show some kind of NASCAR so Tim would not go to sleep. Give him a hard that, that's special. <laughs> never ever leave that down. Leave oh man, I, there's no, no way. Won't. There's no way I could let that down. <laughs> no. So I, I've not got some totally cool. I'm gonna show y'all something new. You know, when I was on Aaron's channel the other night on sports cards and things, I broke. I don't know if anybody saw that, but I went through my vault down in my basement and we got out some of my childhood memories and yeah, stuff like that. And that was awesome. It was oh. fun, man. We broke out the Zach. It was like Harold, like I was telling him, it was like you know, when Harold Rivera tried to find Al Capone's vault on that last box, <laughs> and that was kind of like that. It was pretty fun. Yeah, um, it was pretty funny, actually. I, I could really laugh out of that. We had a good time. But this is this is out of the Zach vault. Now, when I was a kid, I would go to my local car shop all the time. Now, my basketball coach had a local card shop in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Shout out oh, to Stone nice. Mountain, Georgia. I was there today with my family having Easter dinner, and um, that's my hometown where I grew up. And um, I went to the LCS, and I love minor league baseball. I love minor league hockey. I just think that's the heart of the sport. Those guys are playing for the love of the game. And, yep, uh, I and, agree. And down here in the south, we have the Southern League, which is the AA minor league teams of Greenville, Chattanooga, Knoxville, Birmingham, uh, all over the southeast. And it's AA baseball. And in 1986 – I bought this 86 All-Star set. Ooh. Now, I'm going to show you all the players in here. The first player is Big Mac right here in a Huntsville oh, yeah. All-Star car. I should nice. probably have this sleeve, but that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. can, you tell us, can you tell us daddy was a dentist? God, that yeah. guy had nice teeth. Eh? Yeah, that's Lord, a young Thunder. Big Mac, man. <laughs> Huntsville Stars was the name of the team he played for. They were the – A's double A affiliate back then. Nice. And, uh, look at this. You know what it says? It says that he was born in Georgia. It says he was born in Pomona, Georgia. That's got to be the Georgia? Area. I thought he was from California because his hometown is California. Huh. Um, that's Sweet. weird. I think that's wrong. That may be an error. Um, but then there's some other cards in here. This is a shout out to the Columbus Astros, um, and and that's Columbus, Georgia, who's now the Double A affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. The Mississippi Braves just moved to Columbus, Georgia. Oh, really? I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, uh, they moved from Mississippi to Columbus this year. Columbus just built a brand new stadium, and then we have Big Max, uh, the Bash Brothers. Look at here. Here's Jose Canseco playing for oh. the Huntsville Stars too. This is an incredible set. Nice. Um, you know, 85 MVP of the Southern League right there. Um, Huntsville is where they had Space Camp. Do y'all remember Space Camp as a kid? Yeah. That's yeah. where is there. I wanted to go to that so bad, and then we're like, no, it's only for Americans. I'm like, damn you, NASA. <laughs> yeah. You burned me for life. <laughs> is that Bo? Bo knows, baby, playing nice. for the Memphis Chicks uh, nice. right there. I think that was so cool. Bo that knows. Cool. I love that. Those now, are cool cards. I, I'm going to shout out the team, the cities here for these other no-name guests. This is Charlotte. Um, I think Charlotte back then. I don't remember what their Charlotte mascot was. Um, here's the Memphis Chicks again. Shout out to the Memphis Chicks. Um, there's Huntsville again. I uh, got some other players. There's Glenn Allen Hill. He was playing yep. for the Knoxville Blue Jays. Do you remember the Knoxville Blue Jays? I yes, remember sir. when they were in Knoxville. Uh, yes. They now moved over to Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, and there's something else now. But I, I went to Knoxville and saw the Knoxville Blue Jays play a few times. Uh, Homer University of Tennessee. And uh, here's the Birmingham Barons. You know, Michael Jordan played for the Birmingham Barons. Yes, he certainly did. Um, you know, that's a famous if the Tigers. Now, you know, you look at his bat, but here's old Billy Ripken <laughs> playing for Charlotte. Now, Charlotte was the Orioles, and we all know about the uh, – I was sorry, looking. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to – I'm going to move these pictures. Y'all may not – He's so skinny there. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I was looking, you know, here there's this bat, and down here, I don't know if you see this, but there is some lettering in here, but there's no bad words in there. But you think <laughs> of the Billy Ripkin era card, which is iconic. Um oh yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Hell yeah. Um, there's Birmingham again. Birmingham was the was the minor league team for the White Sox. There's another Huntsville star. There's a Knoxville Blue Jays, Cliff Young. I don't know if he's back. Terry Steinbach. You remember when he played with Oakland? Yes. Um, he made it to Oakland for a while. Here's Mike Yastrzemski for Birmingham. Oh, nice. I wonder, that's got to be, how is he related to the Yastrzemski today and Carl? Uh, I, I, guess I, I don't have, know. That's, that's, I've never heard of him before. But no, that's weird. There he is, the Chicks, Memphis Chicks, man. That's a legendary team. Uh, this great. Man, Charlotte had a lot of players this year. Good grief. That's right. Uh, this is my favorite team. Now, you know, I'm from Georgia, but I was born in Chattanooga, uh, right over what? the Georgia-Tennessee line. I was born in a town called Hickson, Tennessee, and it's not spelled Hick. It's spelled H-I-X-S-O-N, and it's a suburb of Chattanooga. People, when I was growing up in Atlanta, you know, I grew up in suburban Atlanta, mostly – a lot of northern transplants, and I would tell them I was born in Hicks in Tennessee, and they would just trash me all the time, like, "Ah, you're a hick, I don't know. you know." <laughs> but, I suppose uh, hey, it's fair. Yeah. It's fair ball. Yeah, it's in that <laughs> area, where is that the Hicks and Dixon line or something like that? Yeah, Mason. Mason Dick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mason Dixon line. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, right. I, me and names, man. You freaking northerner. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't have to worry about much in Idaho. No, you, well, you, yeah, we're not going there. You almost, you almost got me into that, but not tonight. But this is the Chattanooga Lookouts, and I love Chattanooga Lookouts. I mean, that was That's awesome. I've been to a couple of games there in Chattanooga, and they have a great stadium. Um, it's, and this this is the Chattanooga Lookouts. They were the minor league team for the Reds for a while. Uh, I guess back then they were the Mariners. Tennessee's um, a great baseball state, eh? Oh, it is. It is. You yeah. have Knoxville, Nashville, um, Memphis, um, Johnson City, on. Johnson City. Um, yep. Man, I mean, it's you know, well, Johnson I, City and Bristol, right? That's where um, Bristol is more near like Knoxville. Well, Bristol's yeah, kind of between Knoxville and Virginia. Yeah, and you know, Bristol's where the Speedway is, a NASCAR Speedway there. Yeah, yeah. and Strawberry um, played for Johnson City, I believe. Here you go. This is Jacksonville Expos. Now, I went down. I, oh, every year, we go on vacation at St. Simons Island, which is just south of Savannah, and it's halfway between Savannah and Jacksonville, and we go down there and watch the Jacksonville Expos play. Um, they play right near the, where the Jaguars play in a stadium there. That's pretty cool. And shout out to the Expos. I know that's your team, Maiden. Heck yeah, we need them back, guys. I'm sorry. That just it, it burns my, my rear. It really does. Yep. There's another. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do the grand finale right here. Now look at this one. This is my favorite one of all of them, y'all. Tom Glavin playing for the Greenville Braves. There you go. Nice. Let's go. That should be graded, Zach. That's great. I, know. I just really to preserve it. Well, look at this set in general. Look, this is just a minor league set, and you have Glavin, Conseco, wow. Ripken, McGuire. Um, Bo Jackson, all in one set. This is like an iconic set to me of my childhood, you know. Um, I just you, love these cards, man. You I mean, do know just, I'm gonna be on eBay in about 20 minutes from now looking up a set like that. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's super cool, man. I mean, I Greenville Braves were the double A team, and you know, one time Dale Murphy was in a slump and he was trying to find an address how to get to Greenville. And they somebody in my church told me, Yeah, you'll be going there soon if you don't start hitting the baseball. Um, that <laughs> yeah, that's true. Eh? Yeah, that's true. They, they gave they would give a hard time, like especially when he was slump when the Braves were horrible in the eighties, and he would go into slump, and they'd be like, he he did that. I never forget that joke. My dad told me that one time, and I was like, well, yeah, if you don't start hitting the ball, they might set him back down there. But no, Greenville's <laughs> a great baseball town. I've been to Greenville. Now is the Double A team for the where they were the Red Sox, and they have like a miniature Fenway Park there where they have like a green monster there. It's so cool. And um, it's right in the middle heart of downtown Greenville, South Carolina. And uh, it's really, it's really wild. Cool. Yeah. You, you know what I really find interesting about the South right. is how much local sport there is, whether it's football, you know, basketball, uh, baseball, you know, it's high school or college. Uh, the high, high school, school stands are, are really like full as well. Here at a high school football game, you might get 10 people. Yeah. It's, same it's, well. it's, Sad. Yeah. yeah. My mm -hmm. high school football team, we averaged sometimes 2,000 
to 1500 a game. Uh, almost. Yeah, crazy. I mean, it's insane. My high school growing up, uh, uh, high school football is almost as big with the small college football. Um, but a lot well, of guys from my high school, you know, went on to play college football, NFL. Um, we had a really good – we were state champions for several years in Georgia Parkview High School. Uh, Matt Olson, Jeff Rancourt, who uh, not only was a great Brave player, but he also was a great high school football player. Um, Matt Stinchcomb, who played for the Oakland Raiders. Uh, Brett Conway, who kicked field goals for the Redskins. I mean, we had a lot of great players uh, come out of um, – uh, Chris Carson out of Seattle – Seahawks played for my high school. You can probably nice. know him too. Uh, yeah. yeah. Something in that running. water down there is what it is. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my high school uh, is, is got some amazing athletes. I mean, there is a website showing all the amazing athletes that came out of my high school. That's who went amazing. on to play pro sports. And today I'm a super fan of Matt Olson because he may be the first. I have a good feeling if Matt Olson continues the career he's going, he may be the first Hall of Famer to come out of my high school. Oh, I really cool. think he's. I, I did. Matt, Matt Olson replaced the Braves. Yeah, yeah. Matt Olson is our first baseman. He replaced Freddie Freeman. Yeah. Well, I get some of his yeah. stuff. I'll put it aside for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm super fan of him, and I, I just feel like he's having an incredible career. Look, he he is the home run champion last year. He um, he's, uh, he's a good young player. He's he is. Really, he's got he, he's I mean, yeah, he's up. got a lot of career. He's, he's a 2017 rookie, but. I mean, the career he's going on, man, he keeps going and stays healthy. He could be a ho future Hall of Famer. So um, Good to know. So I will take a look. I think you got a couple of big league inserts of him. Yeah, he's, like he's one of my favorites. He has a heritage card from when he was playing Little League Baseball in the same baseball park I played in as a kid. And I just yeah. love that because that That's was cool. the same ballpark I played in. And there he is, you know, now he's the superstar he is today. Um his, it, one of his teachers was Jeff Rancour. Y'all know who Jeff Rancour is? He was a star for the Braves. He does play-by-play -play on the yep. PBS Superstation ba Major League Baseball now and does the Braves play-by-play. -play. Um, he, um, he, His mama was his teacher at my high school. Um, oh, crazy. So it's just really, really proud of my, all the athletes that have come out of my school. I'm always – look, I graduated high school, what, 40 years ago. Yeah, I don't know. What, no. 1994. How old am I? Man, I'm getting old. A long time ago, okay? Yeah. But I'm always pulling from my high school because that's my roots, man. I mean, I live far away from my high school now, but I always got to cheer for my roots, man. That's that's where you come from. You know? <laughs> Noah was still building the air when we were born, hey, pal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look at that and everything was like, well, that happened about 10 years ago. No. Yeah. Try 20, 25, 30. I'm like, 30, 40 years ago. Oh, wow, no. <laughs> and then yeah. you're like, you know, your kids are like, you're old. It's like, I said that to my parents. Yeah. You know, I work at the college that I went to college at. And this year will be the 30th year that I went to college. It'll be 30 years that I went to college there. I, I walk around looking like at my these freshmen. Yeah. <laughs> I look around looking at these freshmen thinking, man, 30 years ago I went to high school. I went to college here at this college as a freshman. Um, <laughs> still right. never learned nothing, eh? <laughs> yeah. I'm still there. I've been now working there almost 22 years, and then I'll be graduating. There, that's so. awesome. No, like, I, I really think that's a fun. that's a fun thing that you get to do. Um, I always said to myself in my second retirement here, um, because with the economy being the way it is, I'm probably going to go back to work this summer, just find something fun to do just to kind of putt around. And I always wanted to do um, maintenance at the golf course. I always yeah. thought that would be a super fun job, you know, get up early in the morning and, and you know, um, enjoy the day before it gets too hot and weird and stuff. So. You yeah, know, um, I'm really blessed. Like if I had a dream job, I would want to work in either one of three places. Right. I would want to work at my high school or I would want to work at um, <clears throat> I would want to work at University years, of yeah. Georgia or I'd want to work for the Atlanta Braves or I'd want to work for the college I, I graduated from. So I get to work in one of those places. You know, I'll never get hired at University of Georgia because I, I, I guess I can try. But my high school, that would be really hard. And my Braves ain't going to hire me. So guess what? I get to work in the college I went to school in, graduated from, and we have yeah, that's awesome. teams, and I get to go work on their ball fields. You know, we have a NAIA college football team, basketball, lacrosse. We're the yeah, NIA lacrosse national champions. We have a, you know, I know lacrosse is big in Canada. Hell um, yeah, it is. We have a, 
Uh, see, listen, we have baseball team. We have softball. Um, we have oh, man. We have volleyball. Uh, we had a bowling team at one time. We got it all. And um, so I'm I'm always you know it's cool to be a part of something like that. And um, I've been there 22 years. I love my alma mater. It's a special place in my heart. It's a small little school. To be honest with you, my high school was bigger than the college I work at. Um, <laughs> it's cool. To work there. Yeah. I went to high school at a 2,000 student school, right? And then the college I work at is called Reinhardt University. It's a when I went there, we only had 880 students, and now they have about 1,500 to 2,000 students. But when I went there, we it was it was a it was a go down. Then I went to University of Georgia that had 30,000 students, so it was a real shock. To go. <laughs> They'd be going for the pan of the fire, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> I was going into these classrooms at University of Georgia where there were like 200, 300 people, right? And I'm used to being in classes with like 15, 10 people. So it was a real culture shock when I went to University of Georgia. Your eyes are like. Yeah. (laughs) I know. You go in these classes, they're like arenas. And I'm like, what is going on here? I've never been here. I went to a big university as well. And it was the same thing. You walk into an auditorium with 600 kids in the same class and you're like, Oh shit! You know, yeah. I, if I, I really better make sure I get a grasp of what's going on because the professor is not even going to know my name. No, okay. let alone worry about me. To help, help you. You know, you, you never yeah. talk to the professor. He's like a freaking NFL pro player. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Are, he's, know? he's the guru <laughs> yeah. of the room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bro. yeah. yeah. Crazy. So, yeah, that, that was, um, that was interesting. But I love my time at University of Georgia. Hey. The best thing about University of Georgia is I got to watch. I had season tickets for Georgia basketball, uh, Georgia football, and I got to go to a lot wow. of Georgia baseball games if I wasn't studying. So I was either studying, working in the greenhouses, or or, or I was watching college football, uh, college basketball, and or college baseball. Man, and I, that's that's where my love of my dogs came from in sport. You know, I just love sports. Well, that came from my childhood, but I mean, I was. I really enjoy that I got to see Georgia football every Saturday because there is a passion. College football is a very passionate game, y'all, down here in the South. It's oh, awesome. I bet I got to get down there and visit one of these uh, one of these days because uh, Brian knows that Brian pro- has probably been to some college football games where he lives. I know they're passionate over here. Yeah. <laughs> like I've watched some college games on TV, and it's a madhouse. Yeah, but, like in oh. some places, like the turnout's better than the NFL games. Oh, it is. And down here, especially in Georgia, I promise you there is a the fan base for the Georgia Bulldogs is 10 times what the Atlanta Falcons fan base is. Yeah. I mean, people, Atlanta Falcons are only popular inside Atlanta. Outside of Atlanta, not many Atlanta Falcons fans. And even in Atlanta, most if you go to a lot of Atlanta Falcons games, most about 30, 40 percent of the crowd is not even a Falcon fan. They're pulling for the other team. That's we have a huge problem with that down here. <laughs> there aren't a lot. Of, I'm one of the few Falcons fans around. <laughs> you wouldn't uh, do that at Orchard Park in Buffalo. Yeah, no. There's no. a reason there's a prison yeah. there. Right. And, and up north, I lived up north. And I was really surprised in my time in Cleveland. I, uh, those Browns fans were as passionate as Georgia Bulldogs fans. And I really learned how northern yeah. fans are about their NFL. They're passionate, man. I, I really had a respect yeah, for that. Yeah. And, and that's the way we are down here about college football. Like, there's that passion down here. It's your city against their city. Down here, it's our state. It's like me and Roll Titerman, man. I mean, I, me and Roll Titerman are Braves bros for life, man. But on Saturdays, we're rivals. You know, Georgia, yeah. Alabama is, <laughs> is a big rivalry. You know, Georgia, yeah. Florida. Oh, man. Oh, I mean, yeah. No, like, that's, that's legendary. Florida and Georgia rivalry. Oh, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Georgia, yeah, people, Alabama's a robbery. Georgia, Florida is bitter. It's it's bad yeah. blood. It's Dennis, bad blood. Dennis made a lot of money putting people's teeth back in their mouths. For oh, man. I, they're, they're tailgates. And, and I'll tell you this. Georgia, Florida is is called – I don't drink alcohol, y'all, but it's called the world's largest co- cocktail party. And it literally, is. It's crazy. It's like, wild. It's crazy. People in Georgia go down stay at St. Simon's inside Georgia – then they go down to the to the game in Jacksonville, and the tailgating is incredible. Now, if you don't drink alcohol like I do, you can drink a lot of Sprite and watch all the crazy people and just sit back and observe it. It's really yeah. fun to play, but uh, it it's it's exciting time and uh, and and it's it's a really really good game. But there's a huge rivalry. It's crazy. Kevin down in South Georgia will know about it. He 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 George down in South Georgia, Georgia, Florida is a huge rivalry. But um, oh, random yeah. rip. It's um. But it's, like, it's I know cool. about it and I live in Canada. So what's that say? <laughs> says a yeah. lot, right? You know, yeah. like it's what's up, Joe. It's legendary. It's legendary. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and again, Zach, I appreciate you coming on on the best day of the year, in my opinion, other than Christmas. Hey, yeah. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, yeah, man, I love Easter. Easter. You know, we got some great stuff coming up, y'all. Masters is coming up in golf. If you love golf down here in Augusta, Georgia, it's one of the greatest golf times. I love when Easter's on the Masters weekend and you can sit on the couch and watch golf. I hate it. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> coming up, it's one of my favorite weekends of watching golf. A baseball season opening day is this week. Is that like a national holiday to y'all? It is to me. Uh, no, it should watching. be, though. Yeah, it should definitely. Be. Should be. We got yeah. NBA playoffs coming. Uh, look, right now, the Hawks are Disney. Um, the Raptors are closing in on them. We got uh, NHL hockey playoffs coming. It's yep. just a great time to be a sports fan, y'all. This yep. fall is the best time of the year. Austin Matthews from my leaf scored 60 goals. Yeah, night. Austin Matthews is on fire, man. I was watching him the other night, they look so good. Yeah, the Leafs better win this this year. Else, this is probably the last run with that core group of guys because they can't afford the contracts that are coming up for Marner and Matthews. It's just oh. going to bankrupt them. They're just not going to be able to afford it. And uh, Tavares is coming up, too, so it's going to be a tough thing. But I tell you, you want to watch the uh, Vancouver Canucks, man. they got a good young team, and they are on fire right now. They coach the playoffs. they got 100 points already. Oh, I'm not wow. a Vancouver Canucks guy, but I do like Elias Pedersen, and I do like their team, uh, some of their good new guys. So I was yeah. watching the game tonight, and i got a question for you, man. You know this. You're Canadian. What is a Canuck? The Canuck is a slang term for a Canadian. Oh, it is? Okay. Yes. I was like, it's this, their mascot is this circle shaped thing. Now, I remember them all having these brown. I remember when the Rangers and the Canucks were playing in 94 when the Rangers won their yeah, first. Yeah, and they run. had that black jersey with the skate yeah. on it. And that's when Pavel Bury was on their team. Wasn't yes. that when Bury yep. was on their team? And Peter Nedved and, and uh, now, yeah, that, that was a, That was one of my favorite Stanley Cups. I mean, that was just because I was really pulling for, I was pulling for New York because. I was the Rangers had not won it in so many years, and everybody felt so bad for them that they hadn't won the Stanley Cup. That was just a great Stanley Cup, but um, I remember that team and then and watching them tonight. It kind of brought back those memories. Watch, but I was thinking, what is a Canuck? I did, I don't know what that is. Now, like the, South, now the jersey know. is actually an orca whale, and it's a shout out to the indigenous people that live in British Columbia, the Haida, which were the ones that were the ones that built the totem poles and all of the big. Uh, wood carving canoes of the fish and and the birds and all kinds of like seriously there's some really cool stuff um they used to have an island in vancouver or bc called queen charlotte's island and now they've renamed that to haida Gwaii, and they've given that land back to the indigenous people after they took it from them essentially by force and uh so they're really trying to recognize the the indigenous heritage of the area and um if awesome. back when I was a kid, uh, there's a popular comic book called Captain Canuck, and it was a Canadian version of Captain America. And it actually was around the same time it was done during the war. And they were like fighting the Red Skull and, you know, all those oh, cool. the guy with the funny nice. nose and the funny mustache and that. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of history with the word Canuck. It's cool that you oh. asked that. Because okay. really I don't know that down here in the South, we... You know, it. You know, I. I don't yeah. know what Canuck is. Well, so. I'm glad you asked because it's yeah. it's cool history. Now, and I can Tim, feel you on what mother covered and uh, is at the Waffle House because down here in the south. <laughs> but I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I think if you can walk out of the Waffle House with all the teeth you walked in with, you're doing all. Oh right. yeah, yeah. Let you me tell you something. Waffle House at 3 a.m. with your with your waitress doesn't have any teeth and you got the jukebox on is something that you almost do. You know, it's, it's well done. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know, it's um, – yeah, we all know Waffle House Wendy. She's uh, quite a yeah. quite a famous lady on the YouTubes there. <laughs> I haven't seen that. I have to go check that out. Okay, this lady threw a chair at her. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and she was like – okay, the chair's coming in. She's like yeah. – like Just like it was amazing, like the reflexes of a cat. It's like yeah. this chair is coming in. She's like, ah. it didn't yeah. even fizz her. She just kept moving. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah. This place is bedlam. Brian, do y'all have Waffle House in Oklahoma? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we have I forty. I forty guys runs through the middle of the United States, east to west. I forty, and it also goes all the way out to California. So it's like the major thoroughfare through the middle of the United States. Okay. And it runs right through the middle of Oklahoma. And I-35 runs north and south all the way up uh, to Chicago. 
Yeah, that there. one I'm familiar with. Or I I forty four does at least you know Route sixty six. Mm-hmm. If you've ever heard of that, that runs right through the middle of Oklahoma. So yeah, all the truckers. I mean, where there's truckers, there's a Waffle House, exactly. right? And a Flying J, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah, get boy. that super cool shirt with no sleeves and the frills, the jean shirts. Yeah. Oh, y'all have Bucky's out in, in 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 Oklahoma? Have you heard of Bucky's? Uh, no, they're they're south of us. They're down Texas. Yeah, I, yeah they're in Texas. I've been one. Yeah, yeah we just got by your area too, Isaac. Yeah, we just got our first one uh, right near me, and everybody goes over there. They get the sticker with the beaver, you know. They put it on the back of their car, and it has the buck thing. Everybody loves that place. They, all they do is talk about, man, you should see what they have at this Buggy's place. It's got everything. And I was like, isn't that just like a gas station? Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is the guy and the beaver nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> now the one thing at North I love that I'd never been able to go to. Was the Shoney's Big Boy? Now we used to have Shoney's, but we didn't have the Big Boy. And when I was in Ohio, I got to eat at the Big Boy, and I got my picture made with the Big Boy. That was one of my dreams of my life. I've always loved that Big Boy, especially like in the Austin Powers movie. You know, you have the Big Boy that goes into space. Awesome. <laughs> and I had that to get my picture. Awesome. Big I got a picture of me rubbing the belly of the Big Boy when I went to Cleveland, Ohio. I had to go eat there one time. I, we nice. need to see a picture of this. Yeah, right. I had to go find it. You know, I was breaking out some pictures of my time in Cleveland, Ohio, the other night on Aaron's stream. And yeah, I went no, to Jacob we, Field, and then I went to see WWE, done. and I saw Undertaker take on Stone Cold and the Gund Arena. And uh, I, I had a great time in Cleveland, Ohio. That was one of my favorite times. I really got to appreciate, you know, living in the South all my life. I never got to really leave the South much, but I got to spend some time in Ohio, and I got appreciation of my Northern friends and um and the, their difference, and that, they made me a better sports fan, man. I always will say that they just their love of sports made me appreciate sports more. Oh yeah, even the sure. told me they were gonna lock up my relatives, and they showed me the jails where my relatives in the Civil War were at. That was beyond that. I still love them. <laughs> oh, I went to Buffalo to Orchard Park, and that's where they told me that they said the Patriots fans. I'm like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I love my friends. They're great. So, uh, Timmy, you have some cards you wanted to show, or like Rip, you had some basketball, a couple of packs you wanted to, uh, you've been hanging on to for a couple of days. Yes, sir. Let's uh, get this uh, uh, turned around really quick. Hey, boom. there we go. Are we good? Yes, there sir. Oh. Look oh, at the starting there. lineups. Oh, man. wow. There we go. Awesome. See, that's the thing with Tim. Shout out to Tim. He puts the effort into changing his backgrounds up all the time on his videos, his shorts. There's a theme. I'm way too lazy for that. Like, <laughs> I get the same cards out all the time. If it doesn't glare the camera out, it's good enough for me. It's good enough. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't forget uh, Clyde the Glide over here. We got. Uh, he's getting cut off, but along with old Sean Camp Rain Man over there. You know, I used to like him oh. before Michael Jordan said he hated him, and then from that point on, I was like, I don't like him. That makes me like them even more. There you go. Let me <laughs> same how much I love the Mariners, Tim. Right. See, I, I grew up loving uh, Blazers and Sonics, Mariners, Seahawks. Poor that. kid. Oh, the yeah. See, I'm used yeah. to rooting for the underdogs. I'm used to rooting for nobody, that, the people that What's don't What's the Seattle win? MLS team? They're really huge. Uh, Seattle. Um, oh, the, uh, what, the pilot? Or no, the, the uh, the soccer. The soccer I know team. there's the Portland oh, like soccer. Tempers. I have, yeah. I have no idea. Seattle yeah. Sound, no, soccer. No. I don't pay attention. Yeah, to. Sound. I think that's it. But Portland, they always have a really good team. They won the MLS Cup several years. Uh, in Portland, yeah. they were really good. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Isn't Seattle like the Lumberjacks yeah. or the Sounders. Like the Sounders. So I yeah, it's like Portland is like the Lumberjacks or something like that. The Timbers yeah. or something like that. Um, they always have a good team up there because there's some huge soccer fans up there in the Northwest. Huge soccer fan in Toronto too. Oh they yeah, that ACL, man. Hey, today we're packing 60,000 in Mercedes. Same in Toronto. We got more than that Falcons game at Atlanta United, y'all. It's crazy. It's that blows United. my mind. Yeah. So, so what do you got, Timmy? What do you got? Uh, let's see, uh, really quick, I just want to show a couple, uh, just a couple of things because we got Brian basketballs on. Let's so you're talking about. So uh, this he was uh, saying something about uh, Michael Jordan earlier, so this was sitting here. We got the Michael Jordan equal cards. Oh, nice! Cool. The, the uh, uh, got the whole the sugar, the, yeah, the, the sugar little, set. Yep. So those were pretty cool. We got a Chet Walker on the back there. Yeah, because those are printed from Star. 
Yeah. Star basketball. And Back actually, if you really wanted to be really anal about things, a lot of 80s players, rookies were in star before they were in anything else. Huge yeah. debate about the Michael Jordan rookie. You know, you've heard Definitely. the debate about the star rookie, whether the that's Jordan, uh, yeah. the Larry Bird, which is quite mm -hmm. valuable as well. Uh, there's a couple other really hot cards in those sets. Um, I have some star cards of like baseball players back in the '80s. I love them. Like they're some of my favorite cards in my PC. You know, they were cool. Yeah, they were nice. star cards. Uh, they're some of my favorites. Nice. And uh, since I didn't do any food and beverage today, since it was Easter, um, I thought I would share these basketball fry boxes. Oh. Still, oh. <laughs> we Damn. got the shot. We got Sean Camp. Was that uh, Miller or not Miller? Um, shit, who is that? Oh, no, uh, that's Hill. Hill, yeah. yes. Grand Hill. Grand, Grand Hill. Hill. That's Dude, right. Blue Devil. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd share these. I thought these are pretty cool. They are. There's Tim's a got a cool, cool collection of oddball stuff. The, oh wow! Got the I Jordan on there. That is so cool. Nothing yeah. but net MVPs. Doing what Jordan does, which is amaze you, right? Even got the scuzzy stains on the back. Yeah, the fry yeah, stains, <laughs> the canola oil or whatever it was. There. Awesome. Right. Back then, I think it was still beef lard. Let's go. There we go. Yeah. We got Jordan and Barkley. When he that was back the when they were doing a lot of gambling together. That's, <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In his retirement <laughs> from the <laughs> NBA. Yes. Right. <laughs> So I thought those are pretty cool. And Hell yeah, uh, they are. we got the Admiral here on the police. The police love issued. Him. I love him. He's one of my favorites. Oh, I me too, man. Sweet. The Admiral. One of my I love favorite players. So what what is that again? What's that? Uh this is the police, uh the Spurs police. Oh. Um this was issued by the police uh yeah. down there in San Antonio. And, yeah, and it's got the tab, the entry tab for um the contest. Yeah, Very and sweet. on the back they'd have their little a little say about it and yeah for sure big fan yeah that was, he, that's pretty David, cool david said stay in school and stay off the alcohol that's right and if, you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna do alcohol go to school and do it so you get caught <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh gotta go ahead and rip a pack of the uh series one 1994 flare Oh, wow. Flair, flair basketball. Great set, man. Mm -hmm. I was, I've got some of those. I was just looking at some of those tonight before. Oh, earlier. Nice. I was wondering nice. if I should bring some of those on. Yeah, oh, see? Those. <laughs> Great minds. Great minds. Right. Think alike, fellas. So we'll go ahead now. It's the 30th anniversary of this set right here, y'all. I'm, I'm going to get up in here. Let's go. Let's see. We got Haywood Workman on the front there. Ooh, we got a little Shecky. I Get some shack attack happening in the back. All right, here we go. Let's see if this is getting focus. Yeah, it's pretty decent. There we go. It's not too bad. Uh, Hayward Workman for the Indiana awesome. Pacers. Great cards, man. And the Marvel cards as well for Fleer Flare were just something else. Oh, yeah. The stock of the card itself, filling in your right. hand. How thick it was! And, oh yeah, yeah. Now, those are thick, thickies. Yeah, yeah, those are definitely, definitely thick ones. There's the back. I think there's what seventy-five point or something. Like it's big. Pretty nice. Yeah, they are. They're beautiful cards. Mm -hmm. We got. Let's see here. We got Otis Thorpe. Nice for the Houston Rockets. Now, guys, look at this compared to Panini. That look at the the you got two shots on the front, different shots. Flip it right. over. You got another shot on the back. It's, it's some of the best. Wow. I mean, bang! You get three different photographs of the player that you love if you collect that guy. If that's your guy, right. exactly. It's awesome. Yeah, they were so high end back in the day, and, and you know what they they were like tops. It was Upper Deck eighty nine, uh, Stadium Club. Flair Flair. Those were the progression. Uh, and score pinnacle too, if you're into hockey, with that, they just did it so much better than everyone else. They really did. And look, right. 30 years later, they still hold up. That's the cool thing, right? We're oh, like, yeah. The quality. Like, wow, those are nice. You know? The quality of these are way better than Panini. 
Yeah, they put the name on the vest. Yeah. Here we go. We got Brent Price for the bullets. There you go. Yeah, you nice. Go. nice. Nice focus there. You got Mark Price's brother. Yep. Oh, wow. Mark Price, great Georgia Tech yellow jacket. One of my favorites of all time. Yeah, they, they're born in Barsville, Oklahoma. Yeah, one of my favorites. Oh, okay. John Stockton there. Nice. Big Big you know, his rookie card is criminally underrated. Yeah. Criminally That's because underrated. he played for the Jazz. <laughs> yeah. If he would have played for the Knicks or Orlando or one of these bigger market teams, he would have been the, the biggest thing ever. Right. If, if they would have beat Jordan back in the 90s, think of that, how bad. Ooh, yeah. there we go. We get some Peyton action. Nice. Nice. That Man, is that's... probably one of my favorite cards. That's Love it. Banger. Love that. Yeah. Love, Love. The, the Sonic uniforms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he was such a beast. He was Love an it. absolute dog. Wow. Awesome player. There we go. We get Terry Mills. I like Terry Mills too. Oh, nice. Did you show, yep. Was that a was that a, a Gary? Was that a Peyton jersey? No, no, back here. No, these are all Desmond Masons, but I got the green one and I got the red one. I oh, went okay, sure. nice. That was a, nice. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I love upper deck too, George. Upper deck. So Terry nice Mills play. here for the Pistons. Speaking of upper deck and hockey, uh, the SP. Product life from Upper Deck is second to none when it comes to that level of photography and quality in the hockey space. Um, really good stuff. And you can't wait to see the new Tim's cards that come out in a few weeks, y'all. You guys are going to freak out. You're going to Yeah, love those it. are going to be cool. Here we go. Yeah. We got Spud. Good old Spud. Spud. Oh, that's my, one of my favorite players all yeah. time. Yeah, me too. He's dominating this Spud. You know, there's a picture of him standing next to Manute Bowl when they both played uh, down there in the, for the Hornets. Yeah. He like, comes up to his waist. <laughs> <laughs> so. Now, do you remember a Hornet who played on the Bulls and towards the end of his career named Eddie Robinson, who had one of the highest vertical leaps of his yeah. time? Mm -hmm. He was one of my kids' basketball coaches up here. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Great, great fellow. Really good guy. What a nice, like, I like, I like him a lot. Yeah. Good person. Um, is that Shaq? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Shaq. The Shaq. He's just not wanting to focus. I'm trying to get it to focus. That's why I'm just moving it all over the place. Is there paper <laughs> loss on that, well, Jimmy? No, yeah. actually, in person, it looks fantastic. And on the camera, it looks like junk. <laughs> maybe it's I, just a uh, sparkle. Is there yeah, maybe it's just a different shimmer on it or something. But yeah. It's, it looks really good in person. See, it'll focus on this side, I bet. I bet it'll come in clean and green. There it goes. Yeah, there. Yeah, it, it's that shiny. Man, yeah. that, that's a that's cool. That's oh, baby, I'm a O'Neal. <laughs> you could just imagine, eh? Like, she gave birth to that. Think about that for a bit of time. <laughs> you know, no, no shade. Shout out to Shaq, because he's one of the funniest guys on TV. Love I Shaq. swear to God. Love I Shaq. love watching him and Charles and Kenny the Jet and the way they get going on over there. They have and such a great show. It, it's it's hilarious. It really is. Yeah, they were five dollars a pack in '94. They were pretty high end. They were high end cards for sure. Oh yeah. They're still cool. I mean, I love the box that they come in. Me too. It's Here we go. We got we got a box what? of 93 NBA Jam Session. I haven't opened these up yet. I've been waiting for something nice, for something special, I guess. So well, this is nice special tonight. enough. We got Brian Basketballs on here. We'll open this up and open up a couple right. packs and see. Now, these are the tall boy ones, so yeah, a little bit taller than the regular ones. Are you kidding me? So go let's ahead. Let's do it. I got to carefully open it up because I don't like to put the scratches on the cardboard. I'm weird. I'm weird. <laughs> yeah, I have all my boxes. Oh, Believe nice. Not, if you see my videos, I'm saying. You don't think you're weird? These are packs, empty oh, packs. Nice. See, I have oh. a, I have a binder. I have I put my packs, my empty packs, in a binder. 
Yeah, like I said, Timmy, <laughs> the difference between hoarding and collecting is shelves. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> you know what? I keep my boxes. It makes me think about how much I've spent. So if I want to spend too much on sports cars, it makes me kind of second that question. You know? I know, oh, right? You make really you look does, at it, man. That's, that's how yeah. much sit right there? <laughs> yeah. God dang, I spent way too much money. <laughs> oh, oh, I yeah. like more. Hey, go sports car rehab after I look at mine. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, right? Car. There we go. We get the tall boys. <laughs> Hey, hey, Zach, the struggle is real. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I got like four more blasters over here, too. That nice. are yeah. All right. So these are, uh, it says on here, it contains one limited edition insert card and 12 collector cards and premier edition. So let's see what we get. And Mel Malone's like all excited. You see, he was like, well, he's looking for mail. Yeah, oh. he's like, he's like, that's not my son. Yeah, and how he's long have you had right. the box, How long have I had the box? Yeah, since uh, well, this was this was out of my dad's collection. So after he passed that way, I ended up getting it. So this is my first time opening it. Um, so Shout he's had it. Oh, man. He's had it since I guess ninety three, ninety four, since it's been out. Well, thank you so much for honoring us and opening that up here. I'm yeah, sorry. Man, you're welcome. It's you know, it's been one of those things I look at and I itch to want to open it. I <laughs> have <laughs> excuse. <laughs> don't blame me if you don't pull the banger, but I know you're going. Oh, to that's right. I got enough packs. I'll get one eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what a great way to honor your father, though. Yeah, I love it. Oh, there, that's pretty awesome. sweet. Look at that. Let's, we got Walt yeah. Williams. Oh, nice. That's, that's a cool, cool. card. Yeah, it is. Looks great. That would look cool in the tux, right? Are those cards longer than the basic extra. card? Are they kind yeah, of like, it, would, it would have to cost you yeah. extra because it's uh, yeah. wow. a little those bit are taller. Tall. Wow. Those are big. That's what she said. Boys. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> <laughs> so those are cool. Let's see the back. Yeah, those see, he was like, that's way too much, man. That's way too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing too much, man. We got Lee Mayberry. Nice. If it'll focus, Wait. come on. There. Well, you notice my my phone's battery ran out like 25 minutes ago, and I've uh -oh. had I've been holding holding this camera the whole time. Oh no! <laughs> I'll make this quick for you. <laughs> no, 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 no! I'm I'm loving it. That's I'm just letting people know why everything's moving around. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Here we go. We got Sidel threat. He he was a threat. Or subtle, subtle. I like to call him subtle threat. He was a subtle threat. <laughs> there we go. Got Malik Sally. It's a bum corner. Yeah, now it's bummed. <laughs> uh, there you go. You got Hakeem the Dream. Hakeem the Dream. Yeah, there you go. There's a nice card. Look at that. He looks very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's looking at the tongues on the sneakers. Yeah, he's That's like, what? They don't get pumped? No, not yeah. this one. <laughs> They were already gone by then. Right. Let's see what else we got here. They're a little. They are a little sticky, sticky. Little. I just don't want to slide Gary them. Gary Payton. Reason. There Gary we go. Payton. We got some more yeah. Payton action. Yeah. Oh, it's a Gary Payton I hear. Shout out to Tim and the Sonics. There we go. There it is. The glove. <laughs> Look at that. What a <laughs> great. What right? a... <laughs> For some what reason, that just doesn't coverage. look like Gary on the back. No. That just doesn't look like him. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We got Rod Strickland. Big Strick. You better right. eat your breakfast. Uh, Will Chamberlain's rookie card was in 62 clear. Yeah, they, they got a little bit of a, a tackiness to them. Uh, but the 69 tall boy. Oh, there's man. a Carl. It's mailman. There's the mailman. Yeah, Sweet. looking all sassy and stuff. <laughs> Have you ever tried to uh, put any in the freezer for a couple hours and then let them set out for a second before you open them? Uh, I have not. I have not tried that yet. I'm going to have to probably try that with these. See if it works. It's helped me on like a couple of packs, but not on all. It doesn't work on all. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hit and miss, it seems. I got some uh, stadium club that's a little, a little ish, a little sticky ish. <laughs> there we go. We got Malcolm Mackey. Nice. Here, Where to practice jersey? There you go. And first round draft pick. Yeah. I think he washed out though. 
Yeah, I just like his jersey. A lot of a lot of <laughs> the draft, eh? <laughs> you might get three guys that are gonna stick in the league out of all of that draft. Eh? It's the rest of them will play in Europe. They'll make as much money, they just won't get as famous. All right, all right. We got J.R. Reed here. Yeah. And last in this one. We got Spud, Spud. Webb. Yeah, there somebody was go. just saying something in the chat about Spud Webb. Did you see that? There we go. We got Spud oh. Webb and the tall boy. Ah, yeah. how's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Said if Spud Webb had a car in this. It's it's in a life sized car. <laughs> <laughs> you put yeah. that on the wall, you can measure with it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well done, Tom. Tom. Tom is one of the funniest guys ever. Hashtag rigged. Yeah. That's right. My dad ran into Spud Webb at Chick-fil-A at the Omni where the Hogs played, and he said, he came home from work that day, he said, Zach, that's the first NBA basketball player the same size as me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I said, he hey. seems so small, eh, compared to, like, everyone else. Yeah. But for was... us regular folks, he's just sort of with normal the size. Of yeah. All right. Here we go. We All got right. Game Breakers, Dan Marley. Nice. Yeah. That's a, nice that's a sweet card. Dan the man. That yeah. the graphics are total nineties graphics right there. I love it. Love it. Yeah, it's like all right. These ones are a little bit better. We got Johnny Dawkins. Nice. That old 76ers uni. Hubert. Oh Hubert. Davis. Yeah, great uh, Nick. I just like to say Hubert. Hubert Davis. <laughs> and we got Frank Burkowski. One of the worst names in basketball. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That, that would just suck growing up. You play, what do you do? You play basketball. Oh, way to go, Brick. What do you do? Throw bricks all the time? Where to go, Brickowski? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. We got Vladi Divac. His magical yeah. one armness right there. Yeah. Yeah. One arm and two hands. Yeah. One arm bandit. <laughs> hey, there you go. You got some Reggie Miller. Good one. Nice. All right. Great player. Nice. Reggie Miller is underrated. The best. Yes, sir. Best, he was probably the best that ever came out of that organization. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We got Mario Ellie. Nice. Yeah. Post season trade. There we go. We got Rain Man Sean Kemp. Wow. Boy, right We're getting there. all the Sonics tonight, guys. That's yeah, right. no, yeah. No complaints here. No. Did, hey, there we go. We got Jerome Kersey. Yeah, I think he played in the big three for a while. Chrissy, Jerome, yeah. With Ice T thing. Yeah, Ice T's league, yeah. You got Tyrone Corbin. Your Ice Cube's league, yeah. Ice yeah, Ice Cube Ice T. No, the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> the other one that I got with P Diddy. No, we're not going there. <laughs> we got <laughs> Curtis <laughs> Ellison. <laughs> and we win this one off with AC Green. Yeah, the question is Chitty Touch is booty. <laughs> oh, God. He says, "Yes, I believe so." Well, he gave me. Well, he was pretty famous at the time, so you just never know. <laughs> it's see. funny oh. when you you hear all those stories. You're like, "No, that just can't be true. It's too weird." And then you're like, "Oh, it's true." It gets weirder. You're like, oh no, it's like, oh, there we it. go. I don't oh, want to my. see. Is that a variation? Oh, wow. We got John oh. Stark. Oh, oh, I like the colors cool. on that. Yeah, Game Breakers. Yeah, this one's a little bit different than the uh, orange yeah. yellow one, sunset yeah. color yeah. one. Yeah. Look at their college. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, dude. I haven't seen these cards. So really cool. I, I really like them. Really oh, impressed. there you go. They got my favorite guy to try to pronounce. We got Sarunas Marlocolonius. Marcolonius. Street of Mucus. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of John Strax uh, either. <laughs> or Mucus, actually. Uh, we got Rick Mahorn. Rick Mahorn. Look at that. You both got whacked. Look at that, man. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Funny faces on that one. All right. We got this one's a little tacky. A little tacky. Come on. <laughs> there like we go. Show. My humor. Yeah. Steve <laughs> Smith. Nice. And we got John Starks. Yeah, the other one, huh? Yeah, he did, Joe. Focus. That's so true. Focus. He said John Focus. Starks looked like the alien for meatballs, too. <laughs> he, <probably did. laughs> he certainly did. 
See, this is why we do this show. Eh? We just love this shit, honestly. Sorry, advisor friendly. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. We got blue, Edwards. I'm just gonna, the green. <laughs> I'm gonna go over the, <laughs> I'm going out on a limb here, but I don't know where that. Yeah, is that. Is, oh, it's the box. I was gonna say that looked like. Okay, never mind. I'm getting tired. <laughs> it, it is 1:30 a.m. my time, so. We got John Williams. He's a great player. Yeah. We got Pooh Richardson. Another great player. Ooh. Who is actually really Reggie Miller wouldn't have been half as good if it wasn't for Pooh. Those guys were really good together. That that was uh that was a good organization. And we got Otis Thorpe with some more Rain Man in the back. Yeah. Now the Pacers pissed me off when they didn't sign a friend of mine and they chose uh Jamario Moon in his place, which I still can't understand. <laughs> we got Derek McKee. You get all the Sonics. Oh man, no complaints. Yeah. I'll take it every day. No. <laughs> well, it's 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 fake because this is for your dad's. He was a Sonics fan. He's right. bringing it back. Show right. the love. Awesome. Great tribute tonight, you know. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh, it, it's, it, it's fun for me because uh, it's it's almost like I'm still collecting with my dad. We're still having fun and exactly. all that kind of stuff. You know, I still That's have uh, partial sets that he started to build that I'll I'll pull cards and add to it, and so we'll still be kind of kind of building sets together still in a way, you know, that roundabout way. <laughs> hey, absolutely. And now when, you know, we're long and gone, my sons can watch this, Zach's kids can watch this, Brian's kids can watch this, and yeah. and your little guy can watch this and go, that was great, his cards. Yep. That's awesome. Like, yep. You know, Daryl Giannardo says, you know, we're creating a journal. Yeah, and definitely. Truth for future generations because they can come back and watch us on these right. streams. Know who That's one of the are. one of the reasons why I started doing that. Doing me this. too. Me too, actually. And was yeah. to to you know leave a bit of a legacy of, of positivity for the kids to come back and say, oh yeah, that was Dad's voice. You know, he used to say that, or he used to, you know, Dad used to joke around like this, and you know that kind of stuff. So right, um, pulling on those heartstrings now. That's what it's about, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Oh, yours, right. I'm afraid mine will think that I was crazy. Oh, uh, mine already think that. <laughs> yeah, mine already. <laughs> That's already a given, you know. It is, right? Absolutely. Now, uh, Tim, it's uh, 157, so I got three more minutes to round this out. We'll we'll so end it on a on a Shaq rookie. Yeah, let's do it. Let's All right, end it on a Shaq let's rookie. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what we oh can my do goodness. Here. I wanna, while you're doing that, I want to quickly thank all the people that are still here after two hours. North Coast Railroad, Spine Ticks, Big Joe Mansman, again, doing what Joe does, which is holding it down. Kevin Random Rips, My Sox Tom, who's always here to the end. Kevin, you guys are awesome. Thank you, Sith. I'm so glad to have you guys in my life. We're all blessed that you guys are part of this community and welcoming us. Thank you, Sith. And, and, all the, the rest of the fellows that are in the background watching or listening, Southern boys, all of y'all. Thank you, man. Yes, thank you, everybody. Here we go. We got uh, it off with Dwayne Farrell. Love those Hawks. Hawks. There you go. Nice. There you go, Zach. There. And they had the Pac-Man Hawk on the side of the, the Yeah, sword. they did. Love My it. first NBA game was the Raptors and the Hawks. Yeah, DeMar DeRozan's one of his first games. Oh, the there Rockies. we go. There's another another yeah. wordy. Allah Abdelanabi. Yeah, but look at all this. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just go stop right See, there. See, you know why they're they're all standing there? They're all trying to figure it out too. All right, who's this dude? <laughs> there we go. We got Scotty. Scotty, Scotty I Pippen. got a headache, Pippen. Yeah. Uh, got a headache, guys. I can't play. Got a headache. Uh. With old Clyde it's a, it's Clyde a, there. It's a championship game, but I got a headache, guys. I got to sit this one out, bro. Yeah. What a pot. <laughs> oh, there you go, Maiden. You get a uh, member's yeah, choice of Patrick Chewing. Yeah, there we go. Nice. The seven-foot monster. Oh, my God, he was amazing. I never seen a man that large move as quick as he could. He was a, he was nuts. He was so Honestly, good. Was. Yeah. Well, Randy. 
Randy he Williams carried the Knicks player. teams back in the day. You know, the Knicks teams, some of them weren't that great, but he carried them a lot of the times. He was so good. Hell yeah. Thanks, George. I agree. And it wouldn't be the same without everybody in here and all you guys hanging out with me, making me feel welcome. We got Matt Bullard. I yeah, like the, oh, go ahead, Brad. I like the ones that you can tell that wasn't game. That they like said, hey, come out here and duck the ball for me so I can take your picture. <laughs> right. Like, <"Okay." laughs> it's like, in yeah. practice, like in practice, you guys pretend you guys are playing really hard right now. <laughs> yeah. exactly. There's no one in the stands in that picture. Nobody like, behind no. <laughs> That's not COVID time or nobody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Compared yeah. to compared to somebody like like that one where in the background. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can still hear my coach yell, box him out, box him out. <laughs> oh, uh, gosh. Here we go. We got Chucky Brown. Nice. Yeah. Those legendary Nets teams, man. Oh, there we go. We got that, old uh, yeah. Jen, Johnson there. Yeah. Uncle. Grandmama. Mama. Yeah. Yeah. Mama. Grandmama. Yeah. Grandmama. Larry. We got Wayman Tisdale. Hey, how are you? There you yeah, go. I liked him. He was good. Latrell Sprewell. Well. Yeah. Isn't that his rookie? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, it true. is. 92 draft. Yeah, hey, that's... Bert wants uh, – he wants fighting in the NBA, and this guy would probably be a great candidate for it because oh. then maybe he would fight. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, uh, and, old, and old Anthony Mason, may God rest his soul. Yeah. If he was still around, he'd throw it down with anybody. Let's go. Yeah, him and yeah. Dan Marley. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bill Lambeer. Uh, yeah, Lambeer, the dirtiest yeah. player in the NBA. Yeah, oh, he was Bates, a Blaylock. beast. Mookie Blaylock, nice, for the Hawks. He was – you know, during the 90s, the Hawks were horrible, but he's probably about their best player they had. After Dominique left, he was the best thing they had. Yeah, he was. He carried that team for sure. There we go. We got Brad Sellers in his awesome glasses. <laughs> yeah. He's ready for anything. He is. He's ready for tennis. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the green glasses on. Hey, there we go. We got Tim Kempton. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You crazy boys. Hey, th throwing down the hoe down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dosey do we dosey turn it all on. Your partner roundabout. <laughs> and you got Walter Palmer is just very confused. He's yes, like, he's why like, why am I here? Why are, why are these people? <laughs> why are these men banging each other? Oh, why, why am I, I stretching? Because <laughs> when you're bagging guys, you gotta roll off of this That's right, you gotta roll right off. <laughs> and here we go. We got 92 draft pick of Robert Ory. Nice. Hey, yeah. Good spring. Nice. Yeah, underrated player, man. He was a great player. Big shot Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Not a bad way to to end that one. No, it's no, no. shack, but we'll take it. No, that's a cool card, man. Thank Robert Ory was awesome. Those are some awesome packs right there, man. Yeah, thanks, Tim, for sharing and, and again honoring your father's legacy on Easter. That's pretty special. Great, and I'm great. honored to be part of it. Thank you so much for that. Yes, sir. And Thank uh, you. getting to share it with Zach, my buddy, and Brian over here. There, there, there. I figured it out. <laughs> I pointed the camera, and the camera's yeah. over here. No work. Magic. <laughs> we get to hang out with all some uh, awesome bros on a Friday or a Sunday night. On Easter, thank you both very much for coming. Thank you all in the chat for hanging out with us. And, and again, wish you, everybody a happy Easter and a great hey, It's not Easter actually. anymore. We're in the, well, here on the East Coast. That is true. I but it is, it is Easter Monday. <laughs> and it's April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, on, on, on that note, the <laughs> April Fool is right here. Um, so thanks, everybody. I hope you still enjoyed this. It was a little bit more uh, PG related um, because, again, it's the first monetized one of the stream. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank yeah. you, everybody, that super chatted and hung out with us. And, again, we'll see you all next week. Uh, I don't know who's going to be on. I'm going to try and get uh, Firebox Breaks if he's available. Oh, wow. Uh, to That'd come on and uh, talk yeah. hockey a little bit. Um, he's a busy guy, so it's hard to get a hold of him. Keith is um, awesome. He's such a great guy. He is. So we'll uh, – We'll see him in April. And April 21st is the big celebration, so make sure you tune into that. We're going to do a 10-hour live. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be chaos. It's going to be awesome. You should be there. I will be there. Tim will be there. So is MVP coming on? 
Is Nessa oh, yeah. Parks coming on? That'll be yeah, awesome. she is. She's yeah, going to show us some of her stuff, which is cool. That'll be awesome. Yeah. So again, thank you, everybody. Have a great, great rest of your weekend. Long weekend. Good week, and we'll see you on Sunday. Have a good night.